Let's talk about our democracy for a minute. <laughs> but let's do it in a way that makes the snowflakes' heads explode. Let me be clear before this podcast begins. We are loud, loud proud, proud, and do not give a fuck. This is the Tony Michaels Podcast. Real and raw political and social commentary. The freedom to oppress the rights of other people is not liberty, you shit-eating moron. Ah, the smell of freedom of speech. This is the Tony Michaels Podcast, and this is Tony Michaels. Hey, Tony, fuck them. Of course... The Russian spy was paid by Trump associates to falsify the 1023 that Comer Pyle and Jim Jordan knew about. How else would Comer Pyle and Jim Jordan know that there was a fraudulent 1023 if Trump didn't tell them that he paid for the fraudulent 1023? Huh? I I should have just said this shit out loud. Oh, fuck. Now, now you know why I just, just start fucking saying shit that makes sense. Because it it becomes true. <laughs> That's right. This morning, The Guardian is reporting. And this should be like the fucking top headline at the top of the fucking news and nothing else. Not, not talking about a single fucking thing else. Not a fucking thing. Not no stupid fucking hearing down in Florida. Oh, God, you're going to hear a lot today about a hearing in Florida from Judge Cannon. Oh, my God. It's got blah, 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 blah. You might as well just be listening to farts and microphones. Is what you should be doing. Because there is no bigger piece of news than this Schmirnoff. His fucking... His fucking name is Smirnoff. Like it's a vodka. Are you fucking are you fucking kidding me? I mean, you can't. I mean, I wish you could make this shit up. <laughs> I mean, I really did. I mean, honestly, a hundred years from now, people are gonna look back at this time and go, Jesus Christ, how the fuck did these people even get up in the morning and put their shoes on that they didn't see how this shit was happening? His name is Smirnoff. Same as like the vodka, right? You know. The Russian, the preferred Russian drink. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't, I don't even know if I need to do a piece of information that Trump associates in Dubai, apparently in the year 2020, the year that Shmirnov, the Russian asset, who is now indicted on federal charges, mind you, he's a fucking spy. Duh. Was paid $600,000. That's the reporting. And this should be the fucking headline across the board. At the very top, no one should be talking about anything else. And the company that he was paid by is, is even better. This is even better. Economic Transformation Technologies. <laughs> so he was paid by a company that's called Trans Technologies. <laughs> In 2020, he's paid $600,000. The same year that Shmirnoff began lining to the FBI about the Bidens. And this is according to the indictment. So this isn't like uh, just the Guardian is like, yeah, uh, this thing. No. This is in the fuck. This is what they are charging him with crimes for. This is probably why they fucking rearrested the son of a bitch. And it's an American company that's connected to a UT company owned by Trump Business Associates in Dubai. Shell companies. Shell co I wonder if Comer Pyle. If this entire time all the shell company bullshit was, hmm, I wonder. I wonder, I wonder if it was all projection. Huh. Couldn't say, I guess. And Jim, I don't report sex crimes, Jordan, is on the phone with Donald Trump all the time. He's even said it in interviews. He's on the phone with him all the time. And I would imagine that Donald Trump may have said, you know what you should do? You should probably check FBI 1021s that have the same name as a vodka, a really popular vodka. You know what I mean? Wink, wink, wink. 
And almost the entire political commentary today is going to be about Judge Cannon. Folks, this is how this is how fucking ridiculous the media is. This is how ridiculous commentators are in this country. I didn't listen to the news this morning. I've been a little busy. Yesterday, the reason why I was a little late yesterday is I had my truck broken into. Eh, it's not a big deal. It's just, it fucking happens, right? Shit happens. And then this morning, we had storms in the area and the fucking power went out. I actually didn't even know if I was going to do a show today till about 30 fucking minutes ago. <laughs> like, Tony, how do you prepare for a show in 30 minutes? Do you think, you think I can't talk for two hours about Trump? And especially when a, 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 a vodka named Russian asset is being paid by Trump and his associates to drop. That's what I said. I fucking said it. He was paid by Trump. I'm sh Maybe it was the fucking puppy money. I don't know. I don't Maybe he got paid with the fucking puppy money. You know, they were auctioning off fucking puppies. They were stealing the 101 Dalmatians and auctioning them off down at Mar-a-Lago. Maybe, maybe Smirnoff. Got the fucking puppy money. I don't know. Maybe he's still getting puppy money. How's he going to fucking pay for his lawyers, huh? I don't. Maybe it's the RNC money. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, just maybe the Russians put the money in the NRA to give to Shmirnov. I, I can't even I can't even believe that the American people still honestly think that the Republican Party is a viable, legitimate fucking party it's they're they're russians they're fucking russians man they're owned lock stock barrel by putin why do you think putin is so hard on getting rid of the democratic party out of politics in this country why do you think they want a fucking dictator to take over this country so they can just start murdering democrats and anyone who thinks i don't know freely and openly Free and open thought is the fuck is the is the is the mortal enemy of Vladimir Putin and the Republicans because they're the same fucking thing. They're the same fucking thing. And I I almost bet that the exact same thing that happened with this Smirnov guy happened with Rudy Giuliani and and Ukraine for the first impeachment. Remember when they were going to go over and they were going to get the evidence and they were going to get evidence that Joe Biden was being investigated and Hunter Biden's dick is huge, but they're investigating how huge it is. You remember this shit? This is the same fucking thing. It's the same goddamn story because these people are not fucking creative. And really, honestly, there's not much creation and not much imagination when it comes to fucking crime like this. There really isn't. You lie, and I'll pay you to fucking lie. And then I'll use that lie to in my advantage. That's the crime. It's not fucking creative. It's not imaginary. Um, imaginative is what I mean. It, it, it certainly is not imaginary. Honestly, you could just use your fucking imagination, and you're probably going to be right 95% of the fucking time with these goddamn cartoon criminals. Trump paid Smirnoff six hundred thousand dollars, and this should be the fuck. This should be the narrative. I don't give a fuck. It. I don't care. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck if there's proof of it or not. I don't care. Comer Pyle doesn't give a shit about the proof in the transactions between Hunter Biden China and then somehow Joe Biden never getting any money. They don't give a fuck about it, so why should we? We shouldn't give a fuck. And I know you're like, yeah, but Tony, now you're just doing what they're doing. You goddamn right. You fucking ain't. Do you want to save this fucking country from these fucking scumbags or not? What do you want to do? Do you want to sit back and let them rob, rob us of our fucking democracy and our fucking voice? Huh? We got people's fucking rights to protect here, for crying out loud. And, and you're going to... and. And you're going to be like, no, Tony, you shouldn't play that game. God damn. Fuck that shit. I will play any game that I have to to fucking save this goddamn country. Because they're fucked. The Russians are trying to steal it from you. You dumb fucking rube. 
and you're paying attention to some hearing down in Florida with Judge Cannon, who's in, who is in Trump's pocket too? Why? 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 Get with the narrative. Get with the fucking program here. We got an we got elections to win. We got fucking elections to win. That's the only way we're going to do this, folks. I know, I know it seems scummy and all that, but bull, fuck that shit. Fuck that shit. War is hell, baby, and so are elections. They're paying they're paying Russian spies. They're they're paying Russian spies to go tell lies to the FBI so that way they can cook up some investigation into the fucking House GOP so Comer Pyle and Jim I don't report sex crimes Jordan lie to the American people it's time it's time it's time we fight like we want to keep this fucking democracy it's time stop being such fucking pussies Stop it. Stop. Stop whining and crying. Stop bitching and moaning. Stop it. You fucking libtards. Stop it. Toughen up. And honestly, honestly, if you got to go because you're too weak to hear this kind of shit, fine. Whatever. Do you go sit in the corner and cry, you little fucking snowflake, while the rest of us say fucking democracy. You'll thank us later. You'll fucking thank us later. And yeah, I know. it. it, it I get it. I get it. Well, Tony, do you really want to get down in the mud with them? Well, if I'm the one that has to do it, by God, then let's fucking do this shit. Yeah. You goddamn right I want to play fucking political football. Let's do it. Who do you think's going to win in political football? Someone with the fucking lies or someone with the goddamn truth? Because you, right now you're letting the people with the lies win. You're letting them fucking win. You're letting them fucking win. Are you going to go pay some Russian spy $600,000 to make up some fake shit about Donald Trump in a 1023? So that way, maybe, just maybe, maybe just, no, you're not going to do that. But what you can do, what you can do is use the evidence that you have. Eh, you might have to postulate a little bit. You might have to pretend a smidge. But fuck them. Fuck them. They're the ones who put themselves in this situation. You know that James, James Comer Pyle and Jim, I don't report sex crimes, Jordan, know that this 20, 1023 was bought and paid for. You know they know it. We've been doing this fucking stupid ass dance for a year and a half now. A year and a half we've been doing this stupid fucking dance with these stupid bastards. Impeachment. Impeach him. Impeach him. For what? Well, Hunter's got a big dick. Remember, it was all about the laptop. Laptop, 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 laptop. And you know what the funny thing is? They paid someone to steal to steal the fucking copy of Hunter Biden's laptop. They manipulated, and then it ended up, just so happened, ended up in Rudy Giuliani's hand in some blind guy's fucking computer shop in Delaware. Yeah, okay. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Right. Oh, yeah. Sounds fucking legitimate to me. Just as legitimate as it sounded that you were going to that you were going to investigate Joe Biden for telling a Ukrainian prosecutor to prosecute the company that his son was a board member of while he was vice president. He was telling them to prosecute the fucking company, not to not not to prosecute him, you dumb motherfucker. And now we find out that this fucking Russian spy was paid $600,000 by Trump? Say it. Say it. He was paid $600,000. Trump paid him $600,000 fucking dollars. He paid him six, not his money. Probably It might be sneaker money. It might be puppy money. Fuck, it might be Trump vodka money. I mean, it's his name is Shmirnoff, so maybe it is fucking Trump vodka money. Maybe it's the money. Maybe it's the money that the goddamn Saudis gave him through the fucking Trump International Hotel in Washington. Huh? Maybe it was that. Maybe it was fucking that. And you and you don't want to play hardball? Get the fuck out of here, man! You you 
You want to puss around with a bunch of fucking lip-tart pussy commentators who are going to be talking about Judge Cannon today? What the fuck are you doing? What the fuck? Who? What democracy are you trying to save? Huh? The democracy where they get to grift your ass in the YouTube video? Are you going to save the one that is going to stand in the way of these fucking Nazi scumbags, these Russian Nazi scumbag Republicans standing in the way of taking away fucking women's rights, taking away the LGBTQ's rights, taking away parental consent from parents in this country because they don't think the way they think or you ain't got the religion I got. Well, fuck you, you goddamn Nazi book burners. You can go to fucking hell. You can go to fucking hell. I don't give a fuck anymore. It's enough of this shit. It's time to win this goddamn election. It's time. Now. Not fucking, not wait six months because, oh, well, Trump's not going to be the nominee. It's going to be Ron DeSantis. Oh, it's going to be Nikki Haley. Nikki Haley's got a chance. Well, maybe Joe Biden should debate RFK Jr. Maybe he should debate Marianne Williamson. Joe Biden's old. He's got an old ball. Shut the fuck up. Shut the, shut the fuck up. We need to press, 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 press. And we do not need to take the fucking shovel out of their hands when they're digging their own fucking political grave. This is where we are. We are in this fucked up timeline. It doesn't seem like this could even be real life, but it fucking is the intersection of WrestleMania and real life. And you got a choice. You can sit in the fucking stands and you can have nothing to do with this and you can sit there and whatever it is, the outcome is the outcome. Or you can put your fucking tights on and you can get in that fucking ring and you can fucking fight like hell. What are you going to do, huh? What the fuck are you going to do? Huh? You gonna sit there and bitch and moan and piss and moan because because the bad guys are winning, huh? Are you gonna engage in your fucking democracy? Get tough. Oh well, Tony, how do we do that? When you see these, when you see people out there typing and shit, bitching and moaning, fucking go at them. I don't care if they're on the left. I don't give a fuck. I don't care how many followers they got. I don't care what kind of influence they are. I don't care if they fucking have meetings with the White House. I don't give a shit. Call them out. Point at them and say, you motherfuckers, you're selling out our democracy and you're paying attention to the wrong goddamn shit. I've been trying to show you the white Christian nationalism for fucking years. Goddamn, I was playing Nick Fuentes clips before anyone knew who the fuck Nick Fuentes was. Hell, almost 99% of the audience here knew who Nick Fuentes was when Nick Fuentes came on the scene and he was having dinner with, with Kanye West and Donald Trump. Every single one of the fucking audience members here who listened to the show regularly knew who the fuck he was. Not only knew who he was, had listened to the garbage that that motherfucker spewed. Because I was onto the threat. You can't fucking focus on shit that ain't the threat. The symptoms of the threat are not going to fix the fucking problem. Trump is paying Russian fucking spies to go to the FBI and lie about his political opponents so he can have his lackeys in Congress create some scam-ass investigation into a fucking fraudulent 1023 that he paid for. Are you paying a fucking attention? Huh? You think there's a deep state? You goddamn right there's a fucking deep state. And it's the goddamn Nazi Republican Russians. They're Russians. They're fucking Russians. They're in bed with the Russians. Fuck, I showed you a video yesterday of Ron Johnson. There's no bigger Putin's fucking puppet than Ron Johnson. Ron Johnson went over to Russia on July 4th. On July fucking the 4th of July, man, the birth of America. He went over there, and there's Coppermount on fucking Ron Johnson. There is videotapes, I'm sure, that exist in Russia that they hold up to Ron Johnson and say, hey, we got these videotapes of you fucking underage girls. <laughs> we got them. We got him, bitch, because you know when Ron Johnson went to his hotel room, there was a bunch of underage hookers that Russians paid to make sure they were in that room to fuck Ron Johnson so they could collect compromise on his ass. That's how it works. That's how it fucking works. And now Vladimir Putin owns that goddamn Senate seat. He owns a Senate seat in Wisconsin. 
of Ron Johnson. And Ron Johnson goes on Jack Prostate Show, who, by the way, showed up at CPAC and said, welcome to the end of democracy. We couldn't accomplish it on January 6th, but goddamn, uh, be damned, we're going to replace it with white Christian nationalism. And Ron Johnson, the guy who has Compromise on him, He's got Russian Compromat on him. You can't fucking convince me otherwise. I, and I'm going to fucking, I'm just going to start saying this shit. And the reason why is because this story this morning that this fucking vodka guy, this vodka spy from Russia was paid by Trump $600,000. We need to start getting tough, bitch. I don't give a fuck what kind of liability we got. People are fucking saying, man, people are saying that Trump paid this son of a bitch to lie about Joe Biden so that Comer Pyle and Jim I don't report sex crime, Jordan could have scam investigations. And Ron Johnson, a U.S. senator, is sitting and saying, listen to this. I showed you the clip. We'll show it again today. I'll show you again today. When Cliff comes on, I'm going to show it to Cliff and see what he thinks. (laughs) I'll tell you what. We'll see what Cliff thinks of this clip. Ron Johnson, a U.S. senator, sitting in an interview with a guy who says he wants to end democracy and replace it with white Christian nationalism. Ron Johnson says he would be happy if we never passed another piece of legislation again. Let me give you a clue about what that looks like. We would never have any appropriative funds. You wouldn't have highways. You wouldn't have schools. You wouldn't have hospitals. You wouldn't have military. We wouldn't have a fucking military. We, We fund the military through legislation. That's how it gets funded. They want to destroy our country. Ron Johnson is hell-bent on giving our country away to Putin. And the reason why, because he wants to protect his own ass. Because there is tapes of Ron Johnson somewhere of him having sex with underage girls in Russia. Prove it to me, Ron Johnson. Prove prove to me that you did not go to Russia and they did not plant underage girls in your fucking room to fuck you. And you didn't fuck them. Prove it to me, bitch. You can't convince me otherwise. You cannot convince me. Why do you why do you think they're trying to get women not to vote? Why in the fuck do you think they're trying to get women? And that's what they're trying to do, motherfuckers. They're trying to upend the 19th Amendment. They're, tr- they're going to try to upend it. Bet on it. And you can sit there and fucking doubt me. And you can sit there and whine and cry and be a little bitch and act like I'm fucking crazy. And this is, uh, man, this is, use it as a weapon. Use it as a weapon. We got a battle at the battle box to fight. You want to go to that war at the battle, at the ballot box? You want to go to that battle without weapons? We got a fucking country to save. We got a goddamn election to win. We're all going to have to get on the same goddamn page here. We're going to have to start shaming our fellow Americans who aren't on that fucking page. That this is fucking, this is un-American, this is fucking treason. They're a bunch of Benedict Arnolds. And their last name is Smirnoff. And of course, Jim, Jim, I don't report sex crimes, Jordan, and James Comer Pyle. The most infuriating thing about this whole thing is guess what? They're not going to go to prison because they're protected under the law by the speech and debate clause because this 1023 exists. This 1023 exists. It exists. It exists. And the reason why it exists because Trump paid Smirnoff, the vodka Russian spy, $600,000 to make it exist. Uh, Keith, I, I don't normally bring up comments on the A block, but Keith says here, it's not all white Christian nationalism. It's Russian communism. Keith, it's all white Christian nationalism. And w- what 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 the Russian communism that you call it is is trying to do is trying to use white Christian nationalism to destroy our country. They don't. Putin doesn't give a shit how our country, how our democracy is destroyed. He don't give a fuck. Putin could care less the thing that he uses to destroy American democracy. He could care fucking less. He doesn't care. He don't care if TikTok runs it, if China runs it. He don't care if the the war in Ukraine runs it. He don't care if the, the, the conflict in Gaza runs it. He don't give a fuck. Putin could give two shits less about how the United States falls, as long as it falls. 
That's it. Period. That's how simple this is. Putin is the fucking mortal enemy of democracy. He understands that. And he'll use any means necessary and he will seek out any ally necessarily, any ally necessary to destroy democracies all around the world. Because if he can prove to people in this country that democracy is not good, then we're fucked. And he's got, Putin has got 10, 12, 13% of people in this country thinking that democracy isn't good. That's why they're in the Trump cult. And the Trump cult serves Putin well. And the reason why it serves Putin well is because that sort of fucking QAnon delusion will destroy our democracy if they put them in charge, if we put them in charge. If we, we, the people, we, the government, put them in charge. And that's one thing that Putin understands is that we stand in his fucking way. So get with the goddamn program. I know it's going to be really popular to tweet about Judge Cannon today. Oh, man. And it's going to be really popular to make videos about Judge Cannon today. Oh, my God. You won't you won't believe how popular it's going to be. <laughs> to make videos of Judge Cannon today. And the documents case. Uh, it's not going to happen before the election. So get over it. It's not going to happen. So why, why does it fucking matter? The, no, the most important thing to the American people at this moment in time in politics should be not Israel, not Ukraine. I know it feels like it. It should be winning this fucking election for democracy, period. That should be your number one fucking goal. And it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you got to say or what you got to do to get that point across to the rest of America. And you can use the number one tool you got in democracy to save it. The number one fucking tool. The thing that they haven't taken away from you yet. And I say yet because they're fucking on their way. They're on their way, bitch, to take your fucking vote away from you. So what are you going to do? You're going to stand around whining and bitching and moaning and complaining about some fucking judge in Florida or some judge in Georgia or some judge in Washington, D.C. or some fucking stupid shit in Manhattan DA's office. Is that what you're going to do? <laughs> it ain't going the way we want, so I'm just, I'm just going to sit here and cry and give up because I'm such a fucking little bitch. Quit being a bitch. Get the fuck up. Get off your fucking ass. And go find that fucking... Dog. We'll be right back. Mark, 60 seconds. This is the Tony Michaels Podcast. Are you ready for best pizza of life? Bring friends down to Pepperoni Hug Spot. Our chefs make pizza with heart and special touch. Cheese, pepperoni, vegetable, and more secret things. Need delivery? Pizzas come fast. Knock knock, who's there? Pizza magic. Eat pepperoni hug spot pizza. Your tummy say thank you, your mouth say, mmm. -hmm. Pepperoni hug spot. It's like family, but with more cheese. Catch Tony's Twitch stream, The Shit List Roundup, at twitch.tv slash the Tony Michaels. We're back to the king of brilliance. This is the Tony Michaels Podcast. Welcome back to the show. Russia, 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 Russia. Russia. They're all Russians. They're the Russian GOP Nazis, and they've proven it. Trump, can you believe this? Um, here, let me show it to you. I don't normally do this either, but these are hard times, you know what I mean? All right, here's the uh, Guardian story here. And it says, U.S. Form firm paid, indicted FBI informant tied to Trump Associates. Records reveal. Uh, Alexander Smirnov, the vodka Russian spy. <laughs> Fuck it. Was paid $600,000 in 2020, the same year he allegedly began lying to the FBI about the Biden's role in the Ukraine business. Huh, I wonder if it could have anything to do with that. 
anything to do with Trump paying him $600,000. I know, I know, I know there's no link yet, but I don't give a fuck. If you're sitting there still wondering if Trump paid this asshole to make these fraudulent claims to the FBI, you're like, well, maybe, maybe not. I don't know, Tony. I don't know. Well, you're not paying attention to anything Trump does at all. You just go back to just simply go back to the fucking the first impeachment. And the shit he was trying to pull. In Ukraine. Then go back to the Hunter Biden shit. Fuck, you don't even have to go as far as as the indictment of Rudy the Rudy Giuliani associate Lev Parnes and Lev Parnes's words. Lev Parnes says, "Yes, they fucking bought Hunter Biden hookers and drugs, got him all drugged and sexed up so they could go make a copy of his laptop so they can manipulate it and make sure just so happens." How did Rudy Giuliani know that there was some manipulated copy of Hunter Biden's laptop in a in a in a a blind guy's computer shop in Delaware? How the fuck did they know that? How the fuck did they know that? How did Rudy Giuliani know that that copy existed there, huh? How? Other than they planned it there. How did James Comer Pyle and Jim I Don't Report Sex Crimes Jordan know that this 1023 existed from the vodka Russian spy? Shmirnov. That was paid six hundred thousand dollars by Trump to plant that to plant that lot those lies. It's all a fucking setup. It's all a, it's all it's all Russians. They're fucking Russians. They're they're not Americans. They're fucking traitors and they're fucking Russians. Every last fucking one of them. The R does not stand for Republican. It stands for Russian. And what we got to do in this country is we got to shame people who fucking still think Republicans are a viable political party. We got to shame them. We got to shame them. I mean, hard shame them. Hard, 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 hard. Go at them. Challenge them. Challenge them. Push on them. And don't let anyone tell you that you can't. Fuck that shit. Challenge their goddamn beliefs. Challenge their goddamn alternate reality here. Challenge it. It's enough of this bullshit that us as Americans have to sit here and fucking watch our democracy be by eroded away because Vladimir Putin has some compromise on a bunch of fucking people who run the Republican Party in this country. It's enough of that bullshit. Just enough of it, man. We do not have to sit back and let these motherfuckers ruin us. Because Ron Johnson doesn't want sex tapes of him and underage girls or boys or whatever it is out there. That Lindsey Graham doesn't want videotapes of him having sex with people off Grinder in Washington, D.C. That's right. I said it. Lindsey Graham has sex with pro- with people off Grinder in Washington, D.C. We shouldn't be fucking sitting here letting our democracy go to waste because we can't fucking just say what we know is the truth. And the truth is Donald Trump paid some fucking Russia vodka spy $600,000 to fucking lie to the FBI so that there was a report that Republicans could investigate later so that he could win a fucking election because he's a goddamn crook, he's a criminal, and he's a fucking thief. And not only that, he's a treasonous piece of fucking trash. And again, the R behind the name, if we can make this, this is the thing that we need to, need to make mainstream because the media is not going to do it. They're not, they, they still take the Republican Party seriously here. It's fucking ridiculous. Even, 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 even uh, uh, commentators, commentators still take fucking the Republican Party seriously here. Because they see people like Mitt Romney and Liz Cheney and Ken Buck now has joined the ranks of people who love Trump but can't stand to be in the party with Trump. The R behind their name. The R behind their name means Russian. It means Russian. It is not for Republican. It is for Russia. Russia, 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 Russia. I was at uh, karaoke last night. And a bunch of these fucking Nazi uh, Missouri reps were in there. 
And they glare at me because I think they know who the, I am. But they glare at me like, yeah, motherfucker sitting over there. And I don't really talk to them or anything. You know, I, I can exist in the same space if I'm singing karaoke. Right. But they started chanting. I forget the song they were singing, but they started chanting USA, USA. And I started chanting USSR, 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 because that's really what they should be fucking chanting. They are not patriots. They are not Americans. And there's someone who knows this better than most. Because I think he's on the same fucking page that I am is that, hey, we need to not like like glove these motherfuckers. If we're going to get in this fight for this election and we're going to win, we need to win fucking big. And we need to punch these fucking Russian GOP Nazis in the goddamn teeth with our vote. And his name is Cliff Schechter and he's on the show because it's Thursday. Cliff, my friend, how are you? How are I'm you? doing well, man. How are you doing? Read the story. Did you read the story I sent you? No, because I'm fucking too stupid to. Can you? Can no, you? No. I know. All I right. Was, so, I so I'm going to give you. I'm going to give you the Tony morning. Michaels clip notes, not the actual clip notes, because the actual clip notes would be like, "Well, see, the, the NPR. Be, oh, see, um, what happened was, is there's an American company who has an association with a, a company from Dubai who was stationed in UK who has okay, some relationship. What the with fuck Trump. happened? Come on, listen. Trump, I, Trump, I Trump paid. Trump paid the vodka late. spy. Trump what? paid the vodka. Trump paid the vodka spy, Smirnoff. I'm only guessing it. Ha his name is vodka, right? I mean, there's a vodka name. Well, Smirnoff. Smirnoff's pretty shitty stuff. So, I mean, it makes wow, sense right. for this. It makes sense for this <laughs> too, right? Like you'd serve it at Mar-a-Lago with a bed bug on the side, right? Right, it right, and 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 a ten thousand dollar puppy, right? That you so, would wait, on. answer this question for me, yeah? Because I was t t running late and too much of a fuckhead to actually read. Yeah. So this is. Proven this is... Okay, like, this is in the indictment. This is in the indictment. So here's the article from The Guardian. Um, the headline is this. U.S. firm that paid indicted FBI informant tied to Trump associates records reveal. Of course, it's not like Trump paid $600,000 to Russian spy. I mean, so Biden. this is exactly what he did when, for the first... In Ukraine. Year. Yeah. Uh-huh. How, yep. how can he... I mean... I honestly, I mean, I'm, and and if this offends some of the folks here who who I who I think want to still be Pollyannish about this, that's up yeah. to them. But I absolutely, at this point, absolutely fucking hate Merrick Garland. Hate him. You think I, so? I think he is so responsible for the situation we're in. He dawdled and fucked around before he named Jack Smith for about ten months or a year. I actually, named... I actually think now he fucked up by naming Jack Smith. If you want to, know well, maybe, but the, but he should have named somebody and done it a lot quicker. And I mean. The members of Congress who clearly were involved in the insurrection, that none of them that we know of, for the most part, the only thing we even know that's happened is they took away Scott Perry's phone. It's the only thing that's happened to any member of Congress. They haven't been investigated. They're sitting there, these fucking seditionists. I mean, why would Jim Jordan and James Comer not take the testimony of a guy they know is a Russian fucking spy being paid by Trump? Because they're all in it together. Well, here's the thing. That's the thing that gets me is that is that I, I would I would actually surmise that no one would probably know that 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 this 1031 even existed if Trump wasn't on the phone with Jim. I don't report sex crimes, Jordan. By the way, that's his name, Jim. I don't report sex crimes, it Jordan. Is. Have you ever seen yes. every time I, I reference him in one of my videos at my channel, I show the minute long testimony and and and, and everybody here who's watching this. I don't care. You don't have to watch it at my channel. Go like Google it. Everyone should watch the, the testimony of this former wrestler on the team who talks about Jim Jordan. He testified in front of the Ohio House calling him and he just he used these words, begging me, crying, pleading with me for a half hour to lie and to go against the testimony of my own brother and say he didn't know. He's a coward. He's a I mean, it's just a minute. And this guy, this guy who looks like a tough motherfucker who is a wrestler, not this little wimpy fucking Ruprecht who has to, you know, from like dirty, rotten scoundrels like fucking Jim Jordan, who has to have a cork and in the forks doesn't stab himself in the fucking eye. Like this guy sitting there just going through how he's how like he I think he said at one point he called one of the other wrestlers and said, if you don't call Jim Jordan, tell him you better tell him if he calls me again, I'm going to beat the shit out of him like uh, the fact that I wish Jim Jordan would have called him again, frankly. I mean, the fact that everybody hasn't seen this and what a fucking criminal that guy is. Comer, whose girlfriend from college has said he beat her, he abused her, he he, he fucking threatened her. Like the, that these people who we know were in it with Trump, if we had a real attorney general, those two motherfuckers, particularly Jordan, 
I don't know how involved or not involved Comer was on January 6th, but I know how involved Jordan was. Pony right. came out in his calls to Meadows and the rest, how he has not been fucking under massive investigation, he and a good dozen other ones in the, in the House, and at least like a half dozen senators. I mean, that's why we're sitting here right now. Well, you know, and 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 uh, Maya Culpa, the, the the account here on YouTube, pointed out I said ten thirty one. I meant ten twenty three. Uh, ten thirty one is actually a tax code, not a not an FBI form. We know what, I, we I know what, we know what your ass is thinking about right now. You're yeah. like, oh fuck, it's a month away. Right, <laughs> right, right, right. Um, and anywho, so but but you, you make a good point about uh, Merrick Garland, Jack Smith, and and the one reason why I think. Uh, you know, I was kind of excited about Jack Smith because the guy prosecutes war criminals, but I'm no longer that excited about him. And the reason why is because um, he's he's obviously he's obviously super hyper focused on Trump and that's just not going to get the job done. But, but here's the thing that is that like we don't even we don't even have to worry about these fucking these trials. We don't have to worry about the crime because we're going to be his jury. We need to get pumped up. We need to get ready to be. I this understand. Motherfucker I'm just jury. saying. You know, as a matter, this is not me as a, oh, we're not going to beat their asses in November. This is me as an American, right. not me even as a liberal. Me as somebody who grew up, went to school, was taught, believed in democracy, believed in our system, knew all the flaws, knew all of the ways with, with slaves and with Native Americans. And fuck, I'm Jewish. I don't think we lived up to our promise with, with me, people like me all the time either. All the horrible things we did, but what the kind of like what Biden said in the State of the Union. We never ran away from the idea. And I believe in this country. I believed in the, what was in that document and that we would always were trying to move forward and that people gave their lives, Martin Luther King and Abraham Lincoln and so many, so that we could keep moving forward and progressing. And my, that is my problem here is that I, I'm a geek when it comes to democracy and my belief in a democratic republic. And, th and, and for that to continue, these guys, again, we can beat the shit out of them in November, crush them. And, and that's fine. But it doesn't change the fact that what they did was criminal. It was treasonous, allegedly, I'll say. And oh, you're not saying that here, fucking. So we got my banner on. We it. Got I'll, plenty I'll go to, of, I'll go to well, bat for you. You're not going to be my <laughs> lawyer if they come after me. So you know what? I'll, I'll say. I'll, I'll, I'll go. I'll, I'll, I'll go to bat for you. <laughs> oh, you're a good man. You're my character witness. I'll be like, there's. Hey, look, I need oh, you to okay. listen to this guy, Tony Michaels. He just finished the sleeve on his arm with a right. really cool saying. Uh, and, and, you know, and then I'll be in prison 20 years. Right. In any case, I love Well, you. maybe you can get a tattoo like this while you're in prison. But like, I can joke and I will, as people know, who, who either follow me on Twitter, watch my YouTubes, know anything about me, know that I can't go longer than about a minute or two without making a joke. It's in my, it's in my system. But, but I also have some pretty passionate anger about things and that it's gotten to this point you know, Jack Smith needed to be appointed. And the truth of the matter is what Trump has done from stealing the fucking, you know, documents, some of which I'm sure he probably has already sold to the-, the Probably, fine. Well, let me finish this one point. January 6th and much more than that. Jack Smith, I understand why he only can pay attention to Trump because Trump has done so much shit that maybe he only can, which is the reason why Jack Smith shouldn't have been the only one appointed. There should have been a half dozen, a dozen of them. You're going to look at these six members of Congress. You're going to look at those three senators. Why was it when people were rifling through shit, you know, uh, desks, they came to Ted Cruz's desk on January 6th and were like, oh, don't touch that one. He's uh, he's with us. Why were guys who were in there, we have the audio, so it's not like this is some conspiracy. Why were guys who were the ground soldiers, the troops, if you want to look at it that way, who broke into our capital, committed treason, destroyed property, attacked people. January Why was their response? Ted, what did they know about Ted Cruz being with them? Why do we not know that? Why were some of the members of Congress wearing bulletproof vests that day? Why was Lauren Boebert tweeting out the location of, of Nancy Pelosi? Like, I, I just, the fact that, that none of these members of Congress have, have paid any price for their sedition is killing us. And again, don't get me wrong. I think it will end Ted Cruz's career this November. I think okay. so too. Do you, do you think, want? Do you want me to give you some truth? Like I'm gonna shit in your cereal here. Shit in my cereal, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna have to find something to laugh about because, as I said, yeah. Well, we'll, go so well we're gonna go back to this Guardian article. There's gonna be plenty of the fucking mock and laugh okay. in there. So I'm gonna shit in your cereal here um, because I, don't, uh, I, I haven't eaten cereal since I was younger. So you really, really? Can mess with my aunt. All right, now, well, what's I your favorite? What's your favorite cereal before I before I shit in it? What's your oh, favorite I was cereal? such a Cheerios guy. Cheerios, like Honey Nut Cheerios, just regular style Cheerios. No, regular, regular man. Oh, okay. I was a kid. I didn't want to throw all that sugar shit in there. 
What? I don't know. Dude, half of our country is morbidly obese. I'm not what about what, what about cinnamon toast crunch? I had I, look all the the way I looked at it is all those things I had sometimes. Yes, frosted motherfucking flakes. That little tiger motherfucker loved yeah. it. Tony, yeah. I would have. Tony would've, the tiger, man. Tony the tiger. You're great. How many though. times I got yeah. that growing up? You're great. Hey, dude. Had he given me some free fucking frosted flakes, what I would have done to Tony? Trust me, he would have come back for more. Okay. Um, but oh, I didn't even get a fucking Fruit Loops. Fruit I didn't Loops. get a smile out of Tony on that. Cocoa one. Puffs. Motherfucker. Cocoa Puffs. <laughs> yeah, I, I um I liked seriously. I like I do I did like all the sugar cereals and I did have them sometimes. I'm full of shit. When's the, when last, when's the last summer. time you ate cereal? You're lying to us. I think you ate cereal this morning. Probably Wait. like a week ago. <laughs> yeah. What, so what was it? What was it? Was it rice? Cheerios. I really it's, do like Cheerios. Oh my God. I, I took you for a raisin brand guy. I'm not going to lie. I like that too. I figured you'd be like, or you know what? A really good one is honey bunches of oats. That Those shit's fucking bomb. I like what? raisins. So raisin brand. Honey right bunches away. of oats with almonds. What are you fucking nuts? I don't like almonds. What kind of monster are you? I mean, I, <laughs> you, you do not know, my friend. You do not know. All right. Let me shit. Let me shit your Cheerios in your uh, raisin bran here. I was because talking about you with a, a common friend of ours by the other, by yeah, the way. Who's that? And he actually, a common, a, a Missourian, if you will. And he yeah. actually said that you are a good person and he enjoyed being on your show. So who's I thought that? I'd tell you that. Who said that? Fred Wellman. Oh, I'm a good, Fred said I'm a good person. He's a good dude. He's Fred's a good dude awesome. to lie to a bunch of people like that. Fred's did he do awesome. it like out Fred's loud in public or did he just say it privately? Because, uh, oh no, we just were, we were chatting on the phone yesterday just about various oh, things. Oh, okay. All right. He, All he's right. a friend and he was yeah. like, and I'm like, you know, I just was asking because I'm like, you know, Tony, right? Because you, I was like, you guys are both obviously pundits, whatever the fuck you want to call you, right. commentators mm -hmm. in yeah. Missouri. And he's like, oh yeah, I've been on a show a lot. Yeah, he's like, come on my guy. show a couple times. And I like to bring Fred on because Fred Fred knows a lot about veterans issue because he's a, he's a retired yeah. Uh, a retired military and he was in the military for a long time. So he knows. So like when I come across an issue that's like has to do with military, I'm like, Hey Fred, this is, this is the one I, I need you to come on and explain this to us. But I like because him I, too. Cause he takes no shit also. He's another yes. alpha who just rips right. the fuck out of them. So, well, the other, the other thing too is uh, Fred is a, a former Republican. Uh, he dropped the R for Russian. Uh, as soon as yes. it became R for Russian, he dropped the R because you don't want to be a Russian if you're walking around in America. I, w I wouldn't imagine you'd want to be, but, but I mean, all right, all right back to the shit. Your was okay. During the Boris Yeltsin era, you just get yeah. drunk a lot and everything was cool, but that was short lived, <laughs> man. That was like Weimar Germany. It right. had its 10 years and then we lost it, you know? Right. So back to the shit in your cereal. All right. Yes. So here's the thing about this 1023, as I was corrected earlier. This this fraudulent 1023 that Trump paid for because Trump paid 600 grand uh, to get this guy to go to lie to the FBI. Right. And uh, and Trump was going to use this 1023 later on if he needed it. You know, he's going to ace in the hole. Type Can I thing. ask something quickly? I'm, yeah. I'm really not trying to get in the way, but we, I mean, is this like a bombshell thing that's like all over the place? Like, in other words, does this is it, this does, I assume, break the law. So is this now? Well, I mean, added? he's he's indicted. It says the American company paid now indicted FBI informant Alexander Smirnoff in 2020 is connected to a UK, UK company owned by Trump Business Associates in Dubai. Court. But did they already were they had they already been indicted or is this a new thing? Uh, th this is this is new news in the indictment uh, because they rearrested the guy. In you the know, they arrested him. They okay. let him out. They arrested him at his uh, lawyer's offices. It says Smirnoff is now accused of lying to the FBI about Hunter Biden and his father, President Joe Biden, alleging that he engaged in a bribery scheme with the executives of Ukraine Energy Company. Blah blah blah. Yakety schmackety. Republican lawmakers have re repeatedly touted Smirnoff as a reliable informant. Uh, James Comer Pyle even threatened to hold the FBI director Ray in contempt unless he handed over a June 20th FBI form uh, with Smirnoff's claim to the committee. Uh, back in 2020, Smirnoff received a payment of $600,000 uh, by a company named, uh, this is great too, by the way, this is where we uh, mock them. The name of the company is Economic Transformation Technologies. So it's trans tech is the, um, it's trans. It's a trans tech. So they're and trans tech is awesome. You know what else is awesome? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is, you know, the thing that uh, Rick Wilson kind of built his name on the everything Trump touches dies. Yep. It's it got three the of the four letters there. Yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> uh, you can't make this shit up, man. But it's trans trans tech. 
uh, prosecutors say that same year, Smirnoff began lying to the FBI about the Bidens, according to the indictment. So this is all in the indictment. This isn't like reporters going to, oh, this is hearsay. Someone told me this. This shit is in the indictment. But, you know, charging. all this stuff was in there. Like, we're finding this out now. It's just like the other day. I'm trying to think who it was. Somebody who who I like uh, was just going off on the New York Times and pointing out how, you know, they reported all of, oh, about the her stuff. All They had the report. They had what Swalwell and the others brought up that, you know, mentioning one point that Biden's memory seemed photographic. And yet they went with the bullshit her said to report to put in the New York well, Times. Oh, that's, yeah, that's better. Well, that, that makes the race closer. That. They're up there with, by the way, they're up there with Merrick Garland and Republicans. I, because people don't get, and maybe people on your show do, and I know, I think you do. Oh, they do, yeah. Well, no, but people who live in New York, okay, or LA. Okay. I grew up in New York City. I see your jacket there. You got the, your I got the Yankees the saying, although it's getting fucking hot. I may have to take this shit off soon. But okay. I'm not going to do a strip tease. Sorry, and, folks. Go but, ahead. Go ahead with um, the New York Times. If you're from New York, what? Well, no, but you you didn't understand. I didn't understand until I moved to a medium-sized city like Cincinnati. The outsized role the New York Times plays in setting the agenda for newspapers across the country and influencing opinion. It is not just people that are reading the New York Times. Uh, it, the, the, what, the, what papers like, I'm sure, I'm sure the Post-Dispatch in St. Louis and the, the Cincinnati Inquirer and papers like that do in these medium-sized cities. Kansas City Star, they go yep, on They and don't on. have the resources. They look to the New York Times to tell them what's it, it's important to cover and how to cover it and whatever. So this fucking death star of lies basically beams out across the country. Uh, and we end up, just like Sinclair Media does to its little outlets, and we end up getting bullshit and it ends up influencing opinion of people in Cincinnati who've never read the New York times before. And and, and that's they don't even know that that's now they're reading the New York times, basically. I'm sorry. That, and now they don't even know that they're reading the New York exactly. times. Exactly. And that's why I fucking hate them because they know they don't, they refuse to accept the responsibility they have. They just pretend, Oh, we're just reporting the facts, which of course they're not. They're trying to both sides, everything. And when they do that, the damage is not just to New York elites reading the New York times. It is across the country. It also affects what the cable shows cover, and they're idiots too. So they, they you know, and, and it affects everything. Well, so so then I can say talking affects, infects everything is what right. it does. Well, yeah, it's an infect infectation. Is that a word? Yes. Infectation. 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 Yeah, yeah. So here's here's the thing: is I've been talking to my audience a lot about the like messaging cascading. Oh yeah, you got to adjust. You got it. Yeah, what go. the fuck, man? I like, don't know. Your camera, your camera, your camera doesn't like uh uh you maybe you need to get a tan. You need a tan and then your camera adjusts. Dude, a wasn't more. Such a fucking, uh, you look like a pasty like, white cracker. I, look at you like a saltine and shit. I'm Ashkenazi Jewish, <laughs> so we're lighter people. Like I got I got the blue eyes and stuff. But how is it that that like I have the skin of an Irishman? Like, I, what, I don't what, know. what the fuck? You're you're dude, that the salting crackers are jealous of you. Uh, they are. My people they were are. in the Middle East at some right. point thousands of years ago. How and the look fuck at you. is it that I have this skin? Right. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, they must have moved to Scotland for a while or something. I don't right. know. You're you're damn near albino. I mean, I, like I, you're bored. I'm not arguing, dude. I'm going to Key West. <laughs> you need to get a tan in your camera. Your camera will be able to keep focus on you a little better. Here's the thing. Is that <laughs> I'm gonna shit in your what cereal? I'm, I'm gonna finally Trump, shit in your cereal. What about that shit that Trump puts on his face? Yeah, that, that is true. Yeah, it. before you just just do the do, do the orange the orange powder before you uh, come on. Can I show uh, you something, by the way? Yeah, and I know you want to get back to what you're saying. Yeah, no. Well, I, I definitely want to shit in your cereal eventually. Somebody I done it yet. mailed this? this to me yesterday. This is the third time this has happened. Is this one of those? Uh... <laughs> I'm like, you should hang that shit up behind you. I'm, I'm going to hang that shit up behind you. Fucking frame that motherfucker. Somebody, somebody has my office address, and I think maybe thinks they're intimidating me. You know what? They can go. Fuck That's, funny. That's funny. That's oh. funny. My car got broken into yesterday, and while I was walking, and Probably when I come back up. to my car, my four windows are down on my truck, and I was like, oh fucking, someone sm like my first instinct was someone smashed my window because they don't like me. Oh, that fucking warms my heart. Look at you. You fucking all right? Up. Sorry, I'm sweating. It's too hot. Over there. I don't know what's going to be EC here, but okay. Tell, let's get back to. I interrupted yeah, you. I got a shit this in your cereal here. This is why I stay on your show for like an hour and a half because Ryan, I know because just to get to a point, it right. takes that long. Ah, oh, fuck. I mean, you know, you got shit to get through here. You know, we got to talk about cereal. You got to talk about, you know, that you look like a fucking saltine cracker. I mean, we got to get through these important points. Here's the thing. 
is that the reason why this 1030, 1023, excuse me, I'm getting the numbers wrong again. 1023 exists the way it exists in our discourse, the way that it exists is Trump couldn't just go on TV and say, there's a, t there's a form with the FBI of someone I paid that he was paid to lie for me that Joe Biden is a crook. Like he couldn't just do that. Right. right. And the reason why is because that would, that would uh, extend the criminal liability. So what they had to do was cook this shit up in the FBI. So that way, when when Republicans took power in Congress and they took uh, power in the oversight committee and then Trump would install his lackey in the oversight committee, some dumb fuck that would do anything he wanted. Right. Because he probably has compromise on him, too. And what, what would happen is Trump would, I don't know, get on the phone or with the guy who won't report committees. sex like crimes. The weaponization of government. You right, know, like exactly. This, yeah. Well, and, and he would probably get on the phone with a guy who doesn't report sex crimes and say, hey, there might be a 1031 or 1023. I keep saying 1031, 1023 that exists. It probably exists. And it's probably got the name of a guy who probably sounds like vodka. And I'm like, that's how they. And now here's the thing is James Comer Pyle and Jim. I don't report sex crimes, Jordan. Here's where I'm going to shit in your cereal. They have no criminal liability with the lies they've been telling. And the reason why is because because they're chairman and they're Congress people. They have the speech and debate clause protection. And the reason why is because that 1031 or 1023, Jesus fucking Christ, I can't get the number right. The 1023. Well, will somebody send Tony a 1099 already? Just I guess so, yeah. Up? Yeah, give me. Give me. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so the 1023, it does exist, even though it's fraudulent and lies. But because it actually does exist and they have oversight over the FBI, they can go seek out that fraudulent form um, and, and they can bring it up. They can talk about it. They can investigate it because their oversight, it protects them with speech and debate. So there's not going to be any criminal liability for um, those pieces of shit, Russian pieces of shit, Jim, I don't report sex crimes, Jordan or Comer Pyle. That's how I'm going to shit in your cereal here is that it really, at the end of the day, um, the only person they're going to hold accountable is the vodka guy. Uh, and oh, here's the oh, I mean, I, I mean, here's the thing. I wish you were shitting in my cereal. Uh, that sounds kind of weird to say and kind of yeah, German shies a video ish. So I'm not like, really please sure. come take a dump in my fucking exactly. That sounds a little and bit I'll kinky. eat it. I'll eat it. It's Tony sounds Michael's like shit. A, uh, that like sounds sugar. a lot like a company that Glenn Greenwald probably owned at one point. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, did I say that out loud? Yeah, okay. well, you did. So, um, you're not because the, the the problem is is that I've gotten to be, you know, I'm cynical enough to begin with, having worked in this business for too long, and after watching, you know, Merrick Garland's behavior and other people's behavior, I'm under no. You're not shitting my cereal because I'm under no illusions that anything is ever going to happen to Comer or Jordan. It's a it's sad. Uh, same with Marjorie Taylor Green, Lauren Boebert, Matt Gates, Ted Cruz, Josh Hawley, all the people that were directly involved in this shit. I have no, I just, I, I don't believe for a second that any one of them will ever see a day in prison. And it's, it's just, it's maddeningly angry. It makes me maddeningly angry because it's fucking bullshit. And it, it, it's, it's not just about, it's not about even revenge against them. It undermines everything about our country. And it sends a message to the next group of assholes like them, like jump on in, the water's warm. Like you're never going to pay a price for it. Uh, and that, that really is a fucking problem. Space Ghosto says, "Yeah, uh, poop loops. Uh, that may be your new favorite cereal." Ooh. Sorry, I don't. I don't mean to, you know, dampen the the seriousness and the mood, but I do. I, I well, do. we have to again. <laughs> I I can't, I can't exist unless I can go back and forth between passionate seriousness and like poop jokes. You know, uh, here we go. Here's here's another one. Crapton Crunch. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, you know, we I uh, I have some fake. Um, uh, commercials that we do. And one of yeah. them is lawn juice 1000. And then, uh, we do, and you probably heard lawn juice. And then I have the super griff gummies, um, that I, that, that I make fun of. And, uh, but we might have to add a cereal and Crapton crunch or poop loops. That could be, cause you know, there's all these cereal companies out there that do these ads. So maybe we'll do a, a line of, uh, of fake cereals to griff the uh, fake griff, the audience off of Crapton crunch, uh, poop loops. We might have to do that. I don't know. Um, I want to show you. I want to show you how this uh, money um, worked here. Um, so you can see that the vodka guy who sold who 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 pimped the lies to the FBI, the the Shmirnov guy here, the Russian spy. Uh, he received six hundred thousand dollars from uh, Trans Tech, um, for, and they're <laughs> from Texas, which uh, boy is even more suspicious. Look at that. 
Uh, trans All right. I'm tech. sure Ted Cruz is, is somehow involved. Arrest right. him. Or, or Wheelie Nelson probably has something to oh, do with Wheelie's this. Oh, Wheelie's definitely maybe. involved. Or what's the what's the attorney general there? Uh, oh, God. Ken Paxton? Paxton. That fucking criminal. Well, you know, he's, the he's, only he's, reason why he's, he's still the attorney general is because of Trump. So maybe that has something to do with this. He's probably too know. stupid to think up anything like that. But they probably just said to him, hey, it's criminal. And he's like, I'm in. You know? Yeah, like, right, right. There's de definitely someone's going to go to jail for crimes on this one. Oh, dad, count me in then. How could I not get involved? Right, in right. Oh, fuck. That's right up my alley. Um, the CEO is Christopher Con Condon. Um, but it looks like I'm reading it as condom. So I'm going to say condom. It's I think that works for me. Christopher Condom. Well, Christopher is Trojan. What did he right, do? Right, whatever, right. Whatever, whatever floats your boat there. Whatever kind well, he's you He's a 33% like. shareholder in right. ETT Investment yeah. Holding. Now, that, that's the thing is ET, ETT, the Trans Tech, is a Texas company. Trans Tech Investment Holding is a is a UK company. And they always it's, do the holding companies whenever they want to yeah. hide shit. Right, when they want to hide the money and where it's the like, money it's comes It's like from. When, when the disproportionately large number of shell and holding companies bought Trump condos in New York. Like right. most people, I think there was, I, I read it all the time that most people would, most of the big real estate guys limited it to like 10%. They wouldn't sell to anymore because they would be suspicious who was Trump, like something like 60 or 70% of his, uh, you know, that's how, you know, the Russians have had their fucking claws or other places or both in, for years. Right? Now the two guys that run the uh, trans tech in London, um, they both have ties to Donald Trump, meaning that Donald Trump gave them the six hundred thousand dollars to then funnel up to the vodka. Are, they, are those is dudes from? I mean, I'm, I'm guessing from names or whatever. But they that's a Dubai connection and all. Yes, of this? that's the Dubai connection. Khan okay. and I don't know how do you say the Farouk. I don't, I'm not I, I don't, fuck, I, I don't know. It, so fuck. I I I speak hillbilly. I I don't even speak English. So what the fuck you want from me? Um, yeah. But it says here, uh, Trans Tech CEO. Is an American Christopher Condom here? Uh, Trojan is his middle name. Um, also is uh, who is also one of three shareholders in the um, Trans Tech Investment Holding. So it's it's the Condom guy, and then the two the two guys from Dubai um, that are the holders of the investment holding company, meaning where all they keep all their dirty money so they can launder it. Now, do they um, do they claim? that this company actually does something or they're just like, we don't even fucking bother. Are you fucking pretending. kidding me? I mean, it's trans tech. They're coming up with technology to transition people from, from uh, non-criminals to criminal Russians. That's what <laughs> they're, they're doing, transitioning. They're doing a great job. Transitioning <laughs> I, to mean, GOP. That, I mean, uh, that, 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 that transition science on transitioning normal people, normal average Republicans into Russian spies and Russian criminals. I have to say, it's, whatever, uh, yeah. whatever they're getting paid for that, yeah, they're not making enough money. Work on they're, that. they're doing a hell of a job. <laughs> <laughs> they're really banging it up, aren't they? they really um, are. So it says, last month, Smirnoff was tri a charged excuse me, uh, with lying to the FBI and being held without bail. Uh, it, now, what this is, is in the federal court, they... They call it releasing of your own recognizance. So they 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 set conditions for you, kind of like they did for you can't Trump. Leave here, you can't. Yeah, right, right. right. Well, and you got to have permission to go here and do here. A lot of times, you got to hand over your passport. You got to hand over your guns. Um, and apparently, they didn't hand over his guns, um, or soon enough, um, because the it said prosecutors argued uh, he posed a flight risk because of his contacts with Russian officials in the Middle East. Huh? I wonder what it could be about people in Dubai that are tied to Russia. I wonder, <sighs> uh, you know, and access to millions of dollars. He has access to millions of dollars. Like, I don't know, $600,000 that Trump funneled down through his Dubai companies. I don't know the Russian officials in the Middle East, probably. Where huh. the, who actually paid him? Where did the money come from? Because the nobody, money came from the, the, the money came from. Trump the doesn't Texas have any government. money and Trump doesn't actually ever follow through and pay. Anybody. Well, no, this the, the $600,000 is like <laughs> sneaker money. It's like sneaker money. It's probably, if, I mean, this was 2020. So we're probably, I see, what was the big funds. grift? I it, it could be. Yeah. He doesn't take be. money out of his own pocket and right. actually pay or him. or Trump went to a Russian and said, "Hey, I give bet. this yep. money," and then they gave the money to the people, and then that's out. Here, you go give this money. You give know, we money. destroy, yeah. I, I, you destroy Biden. I become president. I give yes. you whatever the fuck you want. I'll taste your dick because I'm going to be a dick taster. That's what we're going to do for only a day, though. I'll taste your dick. Um, oh. He's a dick taster. I don't know. All right, uh, let's see here. Let's see if we can get down to some more nitty-gritty here. Uh, Shmirnoff, the vodka guy, indicted alleged 
that the facts in a document known as a 1023, not a 1031, Tony, you dumb fuck. It's a 1023. The other statements made to the FBI handlers beginning in 2020, and it continued. He continued to lie until December 2023. I wonder it could, what it could be about continuing to lie till uh, the end of last year. Could it be that, like, there was someone planning on trying to take over our country and destroy our democracy? I don't know. Could that be? No, I, I'm sure it has nothing to do with that. But don't yeah. worry, Merrick Garland's on the case. <laughs> so is Jack Smith. Um, he's on the case. But and remember, he's losing them. what's most important is not the rule of law or preventing an actual overthrow of the government. It's political optics. We want don't want it to right. look like we're being unfair to right. Republicans. Fuck that. Be unfair to that son of a bitch. That's what I say. Unfair, I don't even care about it. Don't actually make it look like you're being unfair. Be actually, unfair. be unfair. Right, right, <laughs> right, right. Fuck him. Per, uh, persecute he's him, earned please. It. You know what? I believe strongly in the rule of law. There are a few people who have gone beyond it to, to earn it. If you, inc if you incite an insurrection, eh, do whatever the fuck you want to them. All right. Here's the part where you're going to like um, Condom and then his two associates that are uh, registered uh, as the owners of Trans Tech in London uh, on uh, March 6, 2020. Let's call them the Blues Brothers because we can't say their names. So Right. Well, the Blues Brothers. There you go. The investors who purchased the Plaza Hotel in 2018. Oh, they bought it from Trump, didn't they? Yeah. Oh, my God. It's so amazing. I mean, the coincidences are just incredible. Oh, my God. Yeah. I mean, you just couldn't. It's almost like it's almost like Trump playing this all out or some shit. <laughs> and again, it's almost it's almost like. It's almost like he planned all this out to make sure that he could win an election. He would, and again, he would sell lies. Much, let's be honest. Much like uh, Paxton, he didn't plan it because he's a fucking moron. But he, he told people with functioning cerebral cortexes what he wanted, which was, I want to become a dictator. And right. they planned it out. Right. I'm exactly. sure you will find well, right. the, the Stephen Millers and the you know the little, the little henchmen like that. Boris Epstein. Evil, but actually have functioning brains are the ones who put all the shit together. Oh, I, I would imagine that Boris Epstein was in a room when all this shit was being talked about. I'm sure. You know who Boris is, right? Oh, yeah. He was on. I mean, remember, for one year in 2004, uh, I was paid as the liberal analyst on Sinclair during you the You were the libtard on Sinclair. Yeah. And he, Which meant that I argued with everybody about everything. I just fucking insulted people. Yep. And he was at, he was at, uh, after me, obviously, by a number of years, he was at, he was the in house commentator for Sinclair. Now I I know I know it feels like that there shouldn't be pictures, but there is pictures. But that's so what I mean. That's what's so offensive. Here's, like, here's Don and Eric. Here's hybrid. Beavis and Butthead with the with the Blues Brothers and the condom guy. Right. They don't. The, the, that's what I'm saying is they don't even try to hide it. That's how much they feel like they can get away with anything. Like, right. Well, I mean, are they or are they I not? Mean, how many pictures were there of people with with the spy that that like basically? you know, took over the NRA, Maria Butina. Like, like half the Republican Party had pictures with her. All right, there's more here. I'm, I, it gets, it, the association gets deeper, if you can imagine, right? Um, they attended Trump's 2016 inauguration, right? Uh, Don Jr. and Eric attended a 2017 ribbon cutting of the Trump International Golf Club in Dubai. Oh, my God. Uh, let's see here. Uh, they also, also, they ended up at Mar-a-Lago in 2017. Hmm, that's, that's, um, no hmm, way. That. They must have gotten lost somewhere and just accidentally ended up there. And Trump also, uh, the, the Trump, the Trump, uh, knuckleheads, uh, Beavis and Butt had also attended their daughter's wedding in 2018. So there's like a lot of ties here. Like they're hanging out at weddings at Mar-a-Lago. Um, you know, I mean, we could, you, we could go through and I bet we could find a thousand more, but it's quite clearly established. So right. the question only now is what is actually going to happen here? Well, here here's another one. Uh, 2017 FECC filing Trump disclosed making up to $5 million off the licensing deal on the uh, the golf club in Dubai. So oh, uh, after he was already president. There, no way. Five, so, he, so he made $5 million for these people. He just gave back 600000 so they could pay the Russian... The Russian vodka spy. So wait, a guy who was already president paid six hundred thousand. What? Are you sure it wasn't Hunter Biden who did this? <laughs> I mean, it does sound like uh, Little Dick Energy, so I guess it's not Hunter because Hunter's got a huge hog. 
Because, you know, he had a dinner one night, Hunter did, with his dad. And so they're investigating. No, no, that. no. His dad made a phone call to his son. It's, it's, oh, right. Uh, they're yeah. investigating that. Right. right. And then yeah, Biden Hunter called his dad, and it's and then, criminal and then for him Joe to call Biden, his dad. Don't, wait, wait. I'm going to fucking just blow your socks off with yeah, this. Yeah, go one. ahead. Hunt, he, Joe Biden lent money to his brother. <laughs> that fucking criminal. Right. I mean, it is. It's it should it should be a fucking. It's just a, it's amazing the shit that these guys actually do and the <laughs> things they try to go after the Bidens for. So like, remember when you sneezed that night as they're like stuffing cocaine up their fucking you know gullets? Like they're like Al Pacino in uh in fucking what in what do you call it? Scarface. Oh, these fuckers have definitely done coke together. Look at these assholes. I know they have snorted coke off each other's asses probably. Well, I, I mean, what's crazy. his name just admitted he wanted to do that the other day? Alex Jones. He wanted to eat some leftist ass with cocaine. Yeah. Money. Oh, dude, that's going to be some sweet memes. I got to tell you, that's going to be I love it. He came, he came back and he, he tried to. He's like, that's not what I meant. We're like, yeah, that's what you meant. Nom, he's, nom, like, nom, nom, nom. he's like, I meant that, that, that there's going to be you cannibalism know, because of, of the Great Reset. Because you're destroying this country. Yeah, I mean, when you, I, everyone knows when you start to eat a liberal. When you eat like a piece of pizza, you know, you yeah. don't turn around and eat the crust first. You eat the point. You eat the asshole first on a liberal. That's the first Is thing. Is that how it works? Yeah. I mean, you're you going right to eat and a and liberal. You and you're you're, you're going to start with the asshole. You can get to the good stuff if you go up that way. Right. That's the place to start with when you eat a liberal is the asshole. I'm, well, I mean, I, I know from experience. I, I, you know. What was hysterical I, is. He, he misspelled like everything and like he's like Trump, like capitalized the wrong stuff. And like, he's just such a moron. Um, and, and you remember the, like the filings that came out when he, that settlement against him uh, for his lies about the Sandy hook families and whatever, he was making $800,000 a day, a day. <laughs> oh my God. That's crazy. It's almost like that guy's gonna have to pay all that back plus some. Uh, someone yeah, says on Twitch here like that was short lived. <laughs> someone, someone, someone says uh, on Twitch here, anal obsessed. Stop it. Stop what? I didn't say it. Fucking Alex Jones tweeted that he wanted he to fucking a literal pi like a picture of himself. Right here, and hang on. He was going to eat. He said, "I'd like. To, I'm going to eat the ass of a leftist." And then everybody made fun of him, and he had to explain. He he's going to eat leftist ass. That's right. What he, he had to explain to what he meant by that, and his explanation was even funnier. Yeah. I think he was just high when he sent it out, and well, and right, then right. had to come up with an explanation. I'm serious. Here it is. Here's the picture. I will. This is not made up, that. folks. This is all now, over. I didn't make this picture. Alex no, it was all over. Not only media. did he. Did he say this? He made a fucking picture and posted on his own Twitter account. Now, go, if you can go to his account, the one when he retweets it, and you can see he, what he where he tries to explain what he meant by that. And it's oh, if you go to it, it's, all right, yeah, let's go. If there. you I want mean, to, I don't. I mean, no, I mean it's they, they want us to. The 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 fucking audience is like, stop, don't talk about assholes, and we're like, okay, we'll 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 lean into well, it. I know we can um, move on to non. No, no, no. I, I know. I I want to I want to uh, smoke down this hole. You know what I mean? <clears throat> what? I think I, I think I think I got you. What you're saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You smell what I'm stepping in? Um, uh, I do. I, I uh, <laughs> to like your I, anal anally of your tongue. Like you know, the audience should learn not to fucking tell me no. Like, don't say I should say no. Have you guys right? not realized yet that Tony's like a child? Right. I don't, don't give a fuck. No, he's <laughs> do I don't it. give a fuck what you want. <laughs> and ex especially if you don't want it, I'm definitely going to feed you more. If of you it. all just left, which I'm not saying you should, we love you. But if you did, Tony would just sit here and say the same shit. Yeah, to himself. Say the same shit. Yeah. He'd be saying, he, 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 he just would be talking to himself doing this. Right. Exactly. That's what I do every day. Sit here and talk to myself. Um, uh, and the, 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 all those, all those comments are all bots. They're not real. <laughs> I'm, make, I'm making it all up. All the engagement and everything, it's all fake. Um, Alex Jones. So here's the tweet that he sent it out. It's real. This is real. This is his Twitter account. We're not making this shit up. It's not fucking uh, some kind of Photoshop trick or AI. This is real. Is it AI that he likes to eat ass of leftist? I mean, I, okay, you know, and then, I mean, go up for a second because that, well, if you don't want to, I mean, that, well, no, no, I'm going to go up. We're going to read it. We're going to read it. It's so piss poor. It, it, it's, it's funny how bad it is. Here's the thing. I, I would a hundred percent let someone eat my leftist ass. I don't know. I think that sounds kind of, I, I think it sounds kind of fun. I'm not going to lie. I mean, I there's mean, some things that, you know, I'm into, I'm kind of a 
sick motherfucker. What are the other Friday. options is what I'm asking. Like, you know, it's a Friday night. Right. I mean, you know, if there's something good, eat a on bowl TV, of Cheerios I, or get your ass ate. Well, yeah, I, I mean, may I don't eat know. Cheerios. I may watch something cool on TV. You know, right. uh, the only I thing I to, ask is, I may go to uh, meet my friends in Dubai. You know, like uh, who knows what I'm doing? <laughs> I mean, uh, you may you may be trying to transition people at Trans Tech from uh, Republicans exactly. to Russian assets. But here's right. the thing: uh, as we're assets, uh, making them into assets, we maybe get your ass eat. But here's the thing: if Here's what I'm going to ask. If someone's going to eat my leftist ass, number one, I want them to kind of reach around and, you know, do the whole thing with the front. But here's the thing. I don't want it to be this guy. Like, do we get to choose which one of these fucking fascist Nazis get to eat our leftist ass? Or say, there's no, I don't want it to be this guy in my life. There is. Give me a pistol and let me put it in my mouth. If right. Well, I mean, I mean, is this like a kissing booth where we line up and it's like, I will eat, you know, like it's got a big sign and it says, I will eat your ass. Be a leftist. I think you're, your you're, you're, you're misunderstanding the infectious nature of MAGA. <laughs> and I don't want anybody from MAGA touching any, I don't even want to shake their hand much right. because it is, it is an infectious disease. Okay. And it well, goes straight I mean, to your cerebral core. And it immediately makes you start walking around in circles and acting like a complete dumb fuck, uh, misspelling random words and proclaiming how great you are and bankrupting casinos. I don't want to do it. Well, here's Maybe. here's Alex Jones's explanation as you try to explain away. You're like, God, I came on the Tony Michaels show today to talk about guys in Dubai paying six hundred thousand dollars to vodka guy, and here we are talking about Alex. Yeah, Jones but I brought ass. up the tweet, so it's my fault. That is true. Yeah, it is all your fault. Uh, Alex Jones tweeted. He said the left has misunderstood what my intention was. Oh, really? In posting this meme, we didn't take it as a threat. We took it as a promise. Here, I'll get it out for you to eat, Alex. Um, do you want it on a sandwich? Do you like lettuce, mustard? What do you want to eat? Are you with this more asshole? of like a wheat bread kind of guy? Right, or? right. What he's, it, like, yeah. he's white bread. You know he's white bread. Oh yeah, absolutely. And like, it's not like the Wonder Bread. It's like the cheap store brand bread. You know what I mean? <laughs> that fucking it's shit the, where the, the crust level below Wonder Bread, right? Yeah. Where the yeah. crust falls off when you yeah, like you the bag. Yes, we eat that pizza the wrong way. Crust first. Introducing <laughs> stuffed crust pizza from Pizza Hut with a. <laughs> Oh, well done. Yeah, Steph Grass. I am talking about the road warrior collapse that has already begun. Be Here, let actually, let me read it like this. Because of policies of the Great Reset, I am talking about cannibalism as defined as the consumption of other humans' flesh 10 days without food. And the other 80% of people start eating each other's ass. You guys want to bring down civilization. So I. Just wanted to warn you. Good luck. The I demons are this, coming to like, eat your ass. I um, would grab this thing, honestly, that thing as, a, as an exercise if I taught fourth graders yeah. and say, find the grammatical errors in here. Because there's <laughs> so many of them. He's such a, he, he's like Trump. That's why they get along so well. He reads it like a third grade level. He's uh, such a fucking idiot. I'm gonna I'm gonna quote tweet him here. What should I write? I think what I'm gonna write is um uh when when does uh what time what time does wait does the ass eating booth open up? <laughs> I want to know, dude. I want to get in line, man. There's gonna be a long line of leftists trying to get their ass eat at the ass eating booth. So I mean, you know, cannibalism, baby. Start at the butthole, right? That's what I think. All right. Should we get back to more serious things or should we? Um, well, I mean, we should things? joke about them, but maybe just move away from ass play for a bit. Oh, yeah. OK. All right. Well, uh, maybe. Well, may maybe this maybe this will help to get rid of the ass play. Um, this does not have to do with Brokeback Mountain at all. Did you hear about this story? I'm so excited about this story. RFK Jr. apparently is considering making Aaron Rodgers his running mate. <laughs> you know, I already have the. The uh, I already have the slogan for the uh -huh. two. Yeah, what you is ready it? for it? Yeah, go ahead. It's six ma'am and CTE. Two what? Six <laughs> ma'am is the main ingredient of heroin, <laughs> which okay. is which is which is Bobby Kennedy Jr. and uh, and Aaron Rodgers is CTE. <laughs> He's brain injured. So it's six ma'am and CTE should be there. The twenty twenty four. Oh my god, it's so pathetic, man. This is ridiculous. And right? and of course, he, like the man we were just talking about, Alex Jones, 
it, it, it once it, it leaked out that Robert Kennedy Jr., who's trying to pretend he's a serious person, is thinking of a brain damaged football player as his, you know, as his vice presidential candidate who knows nothing about government or, or anything of that nature. Turns out, oh, yeah, he was a, a much like what Alex Jones got sued for. He was a Sandy Hook truther, too, who thought, I mean, you have to start by thinking, who fucking thinks like that? A group of people got together and said, hey, let's act out the murder of seven-year-olds to fool people and turn it into a thing. Yeah, let's do that. And then a group of people got together and fucking did that. And then parents were hysterical because they were actors. They never really had those kids, even though there are records of those kids existing. And they've been activists and crying and still had their hearts broken ever since because that makes sense in Aaron Rodgers' CTE fucking brain. Um, so that's that. I mean, that's who Robert Kennedy Jr. You know, I met him once or twice at who uh, RFK or Rogers, not Rogers, RFK no. Jr. When he was a Democrat, a good seven, eight years ago, maybe mm -hmm. more when he was still mostly advocating for the environmental stuff where he was right. And I don't know what if I mean, when you do when you have a serious drug addiction, he was addicted to heroin for 16 years. I think it, I mean, it does shit to your brain. And especially as we know, you start having dementia, these, or these issues, you know, with your brain, as you get older, I think you hit a certain age and that damage you did, it profoundly increases the damage that's been done. Because when I met him, I'm not saying he was like some just, you know, full of energy, this, and that, but he was a nor he seemed like a semi-normal human. Did he talk like he talks now? Like, yeah, he's, he's yeah, born, yeah. He was born. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'd be like, Tony, you can't make fun of the way he talks. I'm like, I absolutely can make fun of the way he talks. You can, can make fun of, of course you can. I can't. Um, yeah. I think it, it started after he caught MAGA when Alex Jones ate his ass. I think it was the I think it was the horse pace that gave him that voice. Here's yeah, the thing about but, RFK also, Jr. Just, he had that that voice was he was born with. I'm not, but the the reasoning. The stuff he championed, which mostly was a lawyer fighting for environmentalism, like he was on the side of good. He's just another one where you're just like, what the fuck? And you know I, what? I, you I, want to know what happened? You want to know what happened? Uh, he doesn't need, uh, let me say quickly, if you're going to say Russia, he didn't need the money. He comes from a family with hundreds of millions of dollars. No, no, I'm not going to talk about I'm not going to say Russia. What I'm going to say, because not everything leads back to Russia. Um, well, I mean, sort of, kind of, in a roundabout way. Ego, but, though, is the other thing. Like, that's how they get somebody like Tucker Carlson who comes from the Swanson food fucking, you know, yeah, fish uh, fortune. Guy. It's not money. It's, it's ego. You yeah. know, here's the thing is that, uh, RFK jr. Uh, on Jesse Waters show on Fox news the other day. And Jesse Waters gave him the out because Jesse Waters asked him this question specifically. He said, now you were Would never you on Jones eat your, <laughs> sorry. <go ahead. laughs> well, I mean, that would be a good question to ask RFK jr. Because I bet RFK. I promise I'm going to stop bringing it up. Okay. Um, so, <laughs> so, Jesse Waters, that scumbag, asked RFK Jr. He asked him this specific question. Now, you've never been on Jeffrey Epstein's plane, right? That was the question he asked. Like, and, and and if you know anything about like interviews and questioning, you know that Jesse Waters is serving up a softball in that question. Uh, but and RFK Jr. Did his research, did he? RFK Jr.'s RFK Jr.'s response immediately was, "No, I've been on J J F or, uh, Epstein's plane twice." Is yep. what he says. And then he goes into this long diatribe about uh, like trying to explain away why he's with Uncle Jeffrey. And he's like, Yeah, I have my kids around Jeffrey Epstein. Like, what the that does well, that not seems make like it a better. really bad idea. Right. That is a really like that. Not hey, only hey. not only do now though, I think you're a piece of shit, <laughs> but I think you're a horrible dad. What the defense fuck? Defense is defense. Hey, okay, I did go on the plane, but I brought all my kids. That's right, I, I brought my naked. kids as is entrees, that? as entrees <laughs> for Jeffrey. <laughs> I used I used my children as shields. I, I took their clothes off and I put them around me, so I knew everything was okay. For me. Right, 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 right. They, they, um, that's and that's what RK Junior said. He said it. I don't know what to tell you. He said it, and then he said he also Heroin said in the same drug, in the man. same explanation. He said my wife Mary and Justine Maxwell had a thing. That's that's how yeah had a thing. He said it like that, not like they were business associates so they were friends they had a thing now i immediately are like they were fucking they totally were fucking like when someone says you have a thing with some other pre i mean well, generally you know, what's you a thing? that that that, that thing. there's a meaning implied i mean in right. all seriousness yeah that's what you're implying i mean right. i don't know I i'm i'm just i'm just going based off like what you know average everyday talk is and when you say well that person that person they got a thing going 
They got okay. a thing going. Can I say something serious? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, because we do that now and again. Right. Every once in a while. Okay. So, so if, if, if for, de you know, we talk about what Democrats need to do. We mm -hmm. talk about this in terms of, you're talking about branding, right? You're talking about R for Russian. And we've talked about, I, I'm going to talk to you about something off the show for an idea I have for making MAGA apply to all of them and not just Trump and whatever. We'll throw it out here on the show eventually, but I've got some ideas that I'd love to throw by your way. Okay. Yeah. Uh, first. Um, but the thing that should be the most obvious thing in the world is in some of these states where they have some of these misguided people who think that they're libertarians, but really are anarchists. Because if you, I mean, I don't, I think libertarianism is dumb too, but libertarianism is a, a theory of the least government possible, but you actually believe that there is a role and a necessity to government to protect the population. And that would include getting people vaccinated so they don't kill each other. And, you know, also not preventing them from shooting each other with AR-15. Okay. But these people like Rand Paul pretend that they're libertarians, even though they're not. They're anarchists. But that, but to get to the point is, you have these states where Trump does not win by a huge amount, where those people, when they have to choose, they choose Trump. The Democratic Party, for some of these far nuts, like anti-vax, this, that, whatever, who will never vote for Joe Biden, they should fucking do ads for RFK to uh, to uh, digital ads or stuff to Trump voters get the list right and and be like and point out how Trump did Operation Warp Speed how he got the vaccination how he's a fucking wimp on the issue he's no real man like RFK Jr. who never got vaccinated and blah 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 I mean I'm thinking about state you know I'm thinking about some states like Montana and I'm thinking about some states like you know and that could also help someone like John Tester by the way. I'm thinking, I'm thinking about some of these more libertarian-ish Western states, Arizona, Nevada, peel off 5% or something. Even 3%. Really. People and, don't and, understand how much 3% makes you're right. in, a, in, in a national election. You're right. Like I mean, it could solidify huge. Arizona. It could put a place like Montana into the Nevada, play. it could sink it. it, it yep, I, it I could mean, take Nevada, like Nevada away from them. Right. I mean... It, it could so wait just, did you say Nev nevada oh fine nevada i got nevada. Fucking... well you know here in missouri there's a town called nevada so i mean well, we why go don't down you that say missouri hole. instead of it, missouri I, well i mean missouri missouri misery i'm just saying hey you want to see the fruits of our uh butt stuff labor you want to see that i'm not sure what that means but uh sure. oh well i mean it's it, so is this it is related the... to related to alex jones or no uh well it might be uh, this is over on the Discord. I just pulled this meme. This is a fresh meme hot off the butthole presses here. Um, it says, I will never eat ass. But maybe if it's a liberal ass. <laughs> maybe it's a liberal ass. I don't know. I mean, it could be. Yeah, it could be. Uh, These are the things I'm telling you, man. Um, the left the, the left is really in for a heartache when, when, uh, when I kind of... Uh, you know, rattle the establishment here when we get to a position. I mean, there's almost 3000 people watching the show right now across platforms. That's awesome. Um, and again, like this should be, and you know, let's I'll remind people part of what I do, I have a large email fundraising list and we have a pack super pack and, Oh, I don't know. We're going to spend some money uh, on election stuff. And I may just go and spend a little money in a few States out West uh, to getting, you know, purchase some, uh, some data of far right Trumpian nuts, you know. Uh, See if you can open up a couple liberal ass eating booths out there. I don't yeah. know. Maybe on election day. What you? That's what you do on election day. On election you open day. Up ass eating, liberal ass eating booths, and all the people will line up. All the fucking uh, uh, chemtrail ridiculous maggots will uh, line up um, to, for the for the ass eating booth as opposed I mean, to the voting booth. Dude, we're not even saying like the big Kahuna state here, Texas. Oh, yeah. Pull off three, four points, five points there from the crazies going for RFK Jr. because of his anti-vax magic and think about what that could possibly do. Because if they lost that state with its electoral vote size and whatever, it, it, any any amount you won by, it suddenly goes to a fucking, you, you've won by a landslide. I pull one, I pull one meme out of, uh, out of Discord and they're just like dropping them like, 
like they're like they're fucking cat turds over there now. Um, so I want to get to uh, one more, <laughs> one more thing. And by the way, up. I think I told you I had a hard out at one thirty, but I changed my mind. So you know, oh, okay, good. Why? Well, I'm like glad that me, you've done you that. Can tick me off whenever you feel well, like. I'm it, glad that you've done that, and you're going to be glad that you did that too. And the reason why is because we're about to make fun of Benny Johnson. Um, I don't know if you, I don't know if you know who oh. Benji is. I don't know if you know. I, I made is. so much fun of not actually what he believed, but his name that yeah. he he blocked me for it. This is like, this is the. I'm like, dude, I would say, I knew that, I'm like, do you find yourself be, being more masculine when you go by Benny? Right. And like he was making fun of somebody else for not being masculine enough, and so I just started going at his name, and so, he blocked so, me. So wait, the the what well, I actually think he's in the competition for the most closeted gay man on the internet. Honestly, oh my, he's. He, I mean, oh my you god, know, he's so he's gay. Absolutely. He's oh my god! I don't know why he just doesn't come to the dark side and just enjoy his life. Right? Exactly, I don't, I don't come out of the closet, like right, see dude. the light, the enjoy you doing, yourself. Man? You're rep all these repressed feelings that you're doing, and the, well, and the work that you're trying to, to all this anger, like they're all right. repressed, and so they hate everybody Jesus else Christ. because they hate themselves. Dude, we'll welcome you. You know, whether you're whether you like the wiener or not, I mean, wh and whatever level of gay that you are, like you know, uh, the sexuality is a spectrum here. But I'm going to show you the well, spectrum. And what's here. also cool about Benny is how many times he got busted for plagiarism before he finally threw in the towel and was like, "I can't be a reporter anymore." And and decided. Wait, wait, to just he was a right reporter. This guy was a reporter. Oh, you didn't know that? Yeah. yeah I didn't know that. Tell me, tell me, tell me the history that you know. I think about he may have been at Politico. He was at one of those publications and pretending yeah. to be a reporter. Like and he pretends to be a manly man now, kind of thing. Exactly. Okay. Uh, right. And he, I mean, on uh, eventually, I think they found a half dozen cases more where he just ripped people's stuff off. Like he does realize people can use Google and look shit up, right? You want to be like, right? There's a couple that. tools that can actually uh, like identify when I was in college, lifting in, shit. In the '90s, we could get away with that. The internet was young, you know. But uh, <laughs> but we're, we're at a different age now, dude. I don't right. know what you're thinking. In any case. He, he got fired from, I feel like I can look it up right now, but two, I think it was Politico was one of them, two different publications. He got busted for multiple uh, instances of plagiarism. And then he finally joined the you know Tea Party USA or something where plagiarism is actually considered a virtue. Right. Well, they, they encourage it over there. So um, my experience with Benny is I've been in a few Twitter spaces with him uh, before. And when he came on the, the horn, I was like, yeah, I don't have the greatest gaydar in the world. Like, <laughs> it's not the best one, right? Yeah, but I'm in like, the Ozarks, Whoa. you don't just Whoa. naturally have it because I saw Whoa. the show Ozark. Down, 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 down. Well, I saw Ozark like and, a pig, and there was like a guy a with a beard who hooked up with the FBI guy, and clearly the FBI guy had some serious, uh, serious right. KR going on. Yeah, well, you know, again, I don't have the best one in the world, but uh, when he came on the horn, I was like, "Whoa, this dude." This dude loves the cock. All right, so here is here is Benny Johnson. This is his video. He fucking posted this on Twitter. It's uh, because Trump sealed the nomination. Oh, this um, makes me upset because he blocked me, so I can't see this kind right. of stuff. Well, you that's why share. I'm showing it to you. That's why I know I'm, what I'm it saying to you. in the future, right when he posts stuff like this, please share it with me so I can make fun of him right away. Well, um, I asked I asked the internet to not do something mean, and I'll kind of explain it after this. We're not going to watch this whole video; just the front of it, um, How long not is the it? back of it. Not the ass of it. It's like a minute and 14 seconds. It's Benny Johnson. He's, he's you know, doing fellatio with Trump here. Watch. No, 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 no. He's like mm. yeah. Trump. That's the dumbest dance in the history of dancing. Look at this. Come on. Come on. Tell me you're not doing this. Well. Come on. Tell, tell me. Okay, so what I did is I asked the internet. I'm like, please, whatever you do, do not put cocks in Benny Johnson's hands here. Do not put dicks in his hands and let him jack off dicks and have them squirt on his face. Whatever you do, that would be mean. That would be very fucking mean. That would be... That, and I'm going to guess that because you that would so be very kindly mean. asked, they followed your... I don't know. Injunction. I don't... I actually don't know yet. I did it before I came on the show. I was having power issues. I only had... You are only on the show because my power came back on like 30 minutes before the show. Do you guys have like shitty yeah, we weather? Had some storm, we had some storms and there was a lot of lightning. And I think maybe a transformer or something got toasted or some shit. Because it was, was just you, like uh, my neighborhood. Texas? What would you say? No, 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 no. We, we oh. actually can get the power back on here in Missouri. We're, transformer. Sorry. Right, tran yeah, it's a, it's a trans issue. Okay. I thought it was Trans Texas. I, I'm... Yeah, Trans Tech is the company. Oh, but tech. we didn't call it. Yeah. <laughs> but here's here again. Watch, watch him. <laughs> I do. Uh, I love Jack. You can do. Uh, you can do. Yes. You can do. Roll, roll, Royce so do fun. Look, roll, me. Royce is doing. Yeah. Royce, uh, put yourself on uh, camera. Uh, uh. Does Benny Johnson know that YMCA 
uh, is done by the village people. It's a, and, and the song is about a bunch of gay dudes yes. having sex with each other well, in the about, YMCA it's about showers. The place where the only place where when right. it was illegal, they can actually have sex in the showers other. with each other. <laughs> they would fuck each other in the showers at the YMCA, and that's what right. the song's about. And and Benny Johns is like, yeah, this is a great dance. I'm gonna jack off dicks. We're all doing it. And we're, we're all gonna do it. Dance. Dance. Yeah. Yeah. We're all doing it. That dance in the black t-shirt. Yeah, there you go. There you go. What the fuck? <laughs> this guy is. is, is, he, is he, he, so can he gay. I love it. Benny. Benny, you're so gay and I love it. Dude, it's like I, I would love to li- lo- watch him dressed the, up in high heels. I really would. The, it's the equivalent of getting something in like Kleeg lights on Broadway and holding it up and being like, I'm gay. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I mean, isn't this great? I dude, watch it. Watch this. This is fantastic. Let's go back. Let, Tell me you're not no, loving me not. jacking off these dicks. It's <laughs> almost <laughs> like it looks like he's had experience having two guys stand in front of him while he fucking, you know, does the bukkake thing. The right? only thing I disagree about in yeah. that sentence is almost. <laughs> <laughs> like, just take that word out and you're right. You're take right. Word out and I think your sentence really, is correct. You know, honestly, um, I think Benny here, if he just kind of, you know, had a come to Jesus moment. Um, and I think he'd probably rather have a come on Jesus moment (laughs) or Jesus come on him moment. Um, (laughs) you think you think think he could turn water to wine to that? Uh, Well, he probably could. Um, I don't know. I don't know if Benny likes to eat liberal ass too, uh, like, um, like Alex Jones, but I would imagine, I would imagine Benny loves to tongue punch liberals fart boxes. Mm. Mm. (laughs) Very well done. You come, you cut, you come on the show and you're like, yeah, we're going to talk politics, but it's Tony. So I come on this show because we're definitely going to get, I hope you'll take this as a compliment. Yeah, sure. Like to me, this is the best mixture of politics and Howard Stern that's out there. Like I, I, I am somebody who's liberal, but is very politically incorrect and a complete asshole. And and so I want to rip the right wing, but I also need to get certain jokes out of my system. And and many other shows will not allow me to. Well, so, uh, I mean, th- this is again. Well, you know, we were talking. You were talking earlier about uh, the New York Times and how their message uh, cascades throughout the media, right? And um, I believe that in the in political discourse, especially nowadays, the left doesn't really understand it. And the reason why they don't understand it is because the power structure has changed. And how it has changed is, is the power structure is kind of open source now. Like before, I would have had to go to a radio station and Tony Michaels would have had to adhere to their fucking rules to be on the radio, right? Yeah. So I would have never been on the fucking radio. Now I can be on the radio and li- and you can listen to me and there's not a fucking thing they can do about it. Not a goddamn thing. So it's open source. And and well, that really the, it creates I mean, space. It creates space. I mean, did right? you see the, the movie about... Uh... You know about about Stern. What was it called again? Private Parts. Did you yeah. see the movie? I mean, essentially, he was went from station to station where he kept getting fired, but he kept doing kept doing his thing. And it's not to say that you maybe couldn't have done that, but it would, took him years to of doing that till finally, like the ratings were so good, you know, at WNBC that they finally, if you remember that part, that they finally just were like, our ratings are incredible, and they're and the, the best part was they're like. Do you know any? You know, I mean, I'm making this up, but it was something like this. Do you know how long the average Stern lover watches the show? You know, listens to him, and they're like, "How long?" And they're like, "An hour and twenty minutes." Do you know how long the average Stern hater listens to it? And like, they're like, "How long?" An hour and forty minutes. <laughs> right? Exactly. Like, exactly. Know? Dude, I, I, I can't wait until the right wing finds out that I'm the Rush Limbaugh of the left, and it just fucking infuriates them that they have to come and and like fucking pound the keyboard the whole but, time and yell and scream. Oh, I can't fucking wait. I, they're just. I mean, you're right. It's a different, a different era, and there's, there's sort of, I think, different people play different roles and have different strengths, and some are more serious, and some are more comical, and some are you know, different types of humor and different this. And we need everybody, you know, I mean, except for some of the wimpiest people. We don't, we don't need Ezra Klein, but you know, well, I mean, here's, here's the thing is, is that uh, the wimpy, um, you know, soft snowflake libtards, their days are numbered. Like, and the reason why they're numbered is because most people don't like the whole sell out your democracy because you want to be a pussy. Right. Like, no, I, l- l- the democracy is way more important than than your style of decorum, whatever well, I was that gonna say, And that's it's funny. You, you nailed it because I was going to say the word. That's the word I was going to use, which is this whole, you know, decorum. Yeah, fuck I, deco- decorum's gone. When decorum 
holds the worst impulses of the worst people in place, it's a good thing. Like when it held the worst impulses, when the Senate, you know, and I think a lot of this started changing when, you know, Jesse Helms, that right wing fucking crap stick would get up and make his bigoted speeches. If you remember, I don't know if that's pre your time or not in politics, but you got to know who he was, right, Tony? Who, who's that? Jesse Helms. I, well, explain it to the audience. I mean, for the audience, he was North Carolina, and this is when North Carolina was a more mm -hmm. conservative state. It had didn't have all the the Northeasterners retiring there and and going to the universities as they grew and and black uh, population right and all the things that have made it a swing state. It was a Dixie state, the way Virginia was, right? And you know, he rose to to prominence by being first a segregationist. And mm -hmm. second, by attacking the gay community constantly and saying if they would, his famous speech was if they would stop their behavior tomorrow, there'd be no more cases of AIDS. And you're like, um, yeah, I don't know if you're paying attention to the science, dude, but there's other ways that blood gets transferred, <laughs> like blood transfusions. Yeah. Uh, in any case, point being, he kind of, he's one of the people I look at who started breaking that decorum in the Senate. And then Mitch McConnell came along and completely destroyed the rest, what was left of it. And, and the thing is, the, 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 where Democrats make the mistake is if you have that decorum and it holds the worst right wing instincts in place, then I think it's a good thing if they can't behave that way. But once they've destroyed it and they're willing to act the way they're willing to act, if you don't meet them there and hit them back and act the same way, you'll lose. And it's right. taken Democrats 20 years to kind of put that together as, as they're making up just the, the most heinous shit like Sandy Hook was was faked and. And Democrats have abortions at the tenth right. month, and, and, and their and their reaction and their reaction is, oh well, here's why it's not fake. Let me right. give you the and, evidence. And, like, and what the fuck? We don't need evidence of why be, it's not fake. Just push you know what your back reaction on. needs to be, and this is how you know the party is, you know, at least it's changing. It needs to be at that hearing the other day with her, you know, but with Ben Hur there, up up, uh, you know, who, who lied in his report and attacked Biden, and it, it ended up. Is it Not Ben or Robert? Is it Ben or Robert? I know Ben's the movie, so I just was being. An oh, idiot. okay, I got you. But yeah. well, I'm Hurt. just making sure because I, I yeah, heard it's one thing. Um, but we're Do you Nadler think it goes by Bobby, Bobby. Yeah, where Nadler and Swallow showed up because they knew Jim Jordan was going to attack Biden's faculties, mm -hmm. right? And Jordan maybe got in two or three lines, and then if you haven't seen it yet, Swalwell and Nadler had minute and a half video compilations of Trump just his brain melting down and saying he was running against Obama and that Nikki Haley was in charge of security on January 6th and just all the other ridiculous things he said, so getting countries wrong. And that's what you need to do. You counterattack and you destroy them. And like it was, it, it, well, I actually, I'm glad you brought up a Trump clip of his gaffes and stuff. Cause I got a clip here, but I want to go to Keith's comment here. It says Ben Hur was born in 1023, not 1031. 1023 he was born in that time period but here's a clip i've got of trump's gas um this totally is not going to make you laugh clip this is serious stuff here i promise um it'll be all serious 100 percent. yeah we are totally. a nation that just recently heard that saudi arabia and russia will repeat you repeat you uh, uh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna come. Go. Benny, Benny, eat your heart out, baby. Maybe Benny is the game. Benny is just like running run to his bathroom. All right, is that enough? I, I, think, I think so, because I was right. getting a little grossed out. after. Okay, but, well, I, I just wanted to sh play a clip of his gaffes. No, but that one, doing. that is the best of all of them. Yes, like, that one was in both Swalwell and Nadler's things, and that one is the one I've used. I've had three videos on on, on his, Trump's mental state and falling apart and whatever, and I'm sorry, I will reuse that clip forever. We just found out that Saudi Arabia and Russia 
Bibi did a boob up this time. Yeah, yeah. Blah, blah, yakety, smackety. That one is just the, the bibbity boob up. Ah, it's just perfect. It's it's almost like somebody flipped the switch and shut his brain down. In the middle. It's like, ah. oh, it was like some kind of like iRobot. Like I said, you brought up the the Trump gaff clip, so I figured I'd uh, I I give you the best clip that I could find of his gaff. Well, I mean, um, you didn't just do that. I mean, you created a whole right. song. You're a creator right. in the right. in the finest. Well, I didn't. Words. I stole this. I didn't create this. I stole. Oh, uh, okay. It's the internet. I steal. Okay. Oh well, yeah, we all do. A lot of a lot of people get mad that I steal stuff on the internet. I'm like, why are you so mad? I'm showing your shit. Like I'm showing also, the world your yeah, you're creation. More attention, and if right. you're if, if you're not lying and saying it's yours, you're saying. Right. Somebody right. else's right. Think and, think of this. Think of the Tony of Michaels podcast as an art gallery, right? And I'm just I'm I'm displaying the art in the art gallery. Just you are an artiste, way. if you right. will. Exactly. Well, I'm a curator of these a arts. Curator of art. Yeah, that's right. I curate you're you're sort of the the Ozark version of MoMA. Right. Right. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> right. Exactly. Um, but no, I think that's a pretty good clip. And you know what? I actually believe that if Swalwa and Nadler would have played that clip of his gaff in in the hearing. I bet everyone in the entire country, everyone in the entire country would have known about that that happened. And they'd be like, whoa, Trump actually said that he actually malfunctioned like that. And they'd be like, yeah, I don't think I'm going to vote for him. See, and that's that's and the you know difference. what else, though? Yeah. Lindsey Graham would have been under a desk somewhere. Well, that is true. <laughs> like Trump's desk. Whichever guy was sitting closest. Or Benny's, or Benny's desk. It, well, if Benny was sitting there, then that's is a Benny out of D.C. or is Benny in Texas? I don't know where Benny's at. Where is I he I don't at? know where he is either. He, so, and that's probably a good thing. But but I'm, I'm saying he was under he was under a desk. Where, wherever the closest... Uh, I don't know, there's a couple other of those senators and congressmen who are questionable. I can't think who right now. Josh Hawley definitely... Um, Give some vibes. Let's. Oh, say. what what about what about that guy named Cotton down in Arkansas? He's dead. Oh, he gives vibes too. Oh yeah. my god, he like wears closet doors around on his on his sleeve. Yeah, he does. It's kind of crazy. Um, you know, I want to go to one more story, and I think we talked about it a little bit um, before we go here. But I'm really excited about the story uh, at the RNC. Oh man, I'm super excited about the, oh, story the, at the RNC? RNC. Oh my I God. I honestly got up and started clapping oh, in my fuck. house when I found out she took over. <laughs> I was just like, this is the best thing. And did you see right away? Maybe that's the story you're going to show what they did like right away. Well, yeah, but here, here, here she is they're cutting all of their money for like outreach to, to minority communities. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, D fuck DEI and diversity. Fuck that shit. Like, okay. Yeah. Cool. They've been sadly among like Latino males, black males, they've made gains because they've been doing outreach on, on more areas, religious areas where they, they're more aligned socially conservatively, let's say. And they're cutting all that out now because Trump is, I mean, there's two things that are going to happen here. And it is going to be, I, I'm in love with this. I'm in love with this. One, he's going to pay his legal bills. And two, they're going to find ways to pocket all sorts of the rest of the money. What, what's not going to happen is nobody, no other campaign is going to see a cent. And they're going to get fucking massacred. The only way you they mean like get, Ted Cruz or Josh Hawley? You mean yeah, like the only those? way they don't get massacred down ballot is if funders decide they're willing to step in, right-wing funders, to make up for what Trump refuses to do and spend a lot more of their money. That will be questionable whether they're willing to do that. The second thing is, uh, you know, with all of it is obviously, I don't even think Trump's going to spend any of it on his campaign. He's going to be massively outspent because he can't, as much as he wants to win, he can't help it. Greed comes first with him. Well, here's the other thing is they fired 60 employees and they're going to fleece those salaries away. Yep. And then that's and all then into the pocket. Right. Well, yeah. Well, here, let's like let's, let's, that's like hundreds of years of institutional knowledge of campaign knowledge of all of these things gone. Right? Well, let's let's see what she did. She fired all the people and let's see the work she's doing since she fired all those people. Let's listen. So that money is going to start coming back in. People are going to hear directly from me. I wrote I personally wrote an email this morning. No. to send out to people all across this country asking for donations. She we do have email? to catch up. I believe we will. And I believe it's because people are now inspired and they know that this is a winning team. <laughs> so she's like, all right, I'm taking over. We're firing everybody. And I'm going to send an email out. That'll fix it. <laughs> I'm like, yes, yes. Keep going. Yes. Don't stop there. Do the fucking Senate committee too. 
And you take know what away, else you're gonna do? Take away the Senate and take away the congressional fucking money. Go take over they're that organization. To. They're, yeah. they're going to. Oh, yeah. oh, not that not from those organizations, but they support members of Congress and other people. No, I'm them. saying I want I want a maggot. I want a Cheeto hump and fuck nugget to take over the the minority seat in the, in the Senate. Better. And the reason why is because then they'll have their grips on that money and they'll steal that money for Trump. I agree. And go into Congress, go in the House, make sure none of those candidates get any of the money raised or none of the support from the House leadership. They strip all that fucking money but, away and put it in Trump's pocket. You Good. should know this. Like What's important for people to know is traditionally in the past um, and still with the DNC, a big part of their role, yes, the presidential race, which again, they're not going to spend on Trump. Well, not for the presidential part of it, but also they give money to key state parties, which you know they're not, these guys aren't going to do. So the state parties and swing states are fucked uh, on the Republican side. And also they deliver, they deliver large amounts of money often to the exact committees you're talking about, the Republican Senatorial Committee and House so Committee. That money's gonna and, start and now back they're in. not going to get People that are money. People going to hear directly from me. I wrote, oh, I personally wrote an email on, this on. morning. Of course. Well, wait, no, wait, I, I just had to hear about her email again. She may I send another one I, I accidentally hit the button. Go ahead. Well, but she may send another email tomorrow. That's that is true. Email. Well, it is. I mean, she could send out an email. Do you think? Do you think she copy and paste each email that she has on her list? Probably. And, and like, okay, okay. And that's why it took her so long. That's why she only wrote one email this morning. Like, that's just right. like she did it. One. She had a sand tablet. And she <laughs> sat there, and I mean, in all, in all seriousness, it's like. Like the, the the what's gonna happen? She, is she fired sixty people and sent an email. <laughs> <laughs> she fired sixty fucking people, Cliff, and then she said she sent an email. <laughs> that's a, that's an explanation of how they're gonna raise money. And I'm telling you, I cannot wait to the stories because you know these stories are gonna oh come my out. God. Right? And like the clickbait <sighs> places, Politico, Axios, <laughs> Hill, the places that suck and don't care. You're gonna see these stories of like. State parties, Republican state parties, just begging for money. Because <laughs> and members like people running for Congress in swing seats, just being outspent eight to one, destroyed because the because the RNC will not have transferred over some multi million dollar sum to the the House version of that. Like they're just they're going to get so fucked. Oh, it's, it's be totally so much fun. Now, one one of the other piece of the story, and I want to move on to one more story here before we close, because you'll love this one, too. It has to do with a congressional candidate uh, completely getting fucked by another Republican who is sick and tired of the Trumpism in the party. And he's and he knows if he can buck. And that's right. That's right. So we're going to get to that Gobert. story. But one but one other detail about the RNC that I love and I am excited about this because it feels like that there's going to be crim federal criminal indictments for embezzlement and shit oh, is yeah. that. Oh, yeah. And, and election fraud and all kinds of shit is because they put Christina Bob as the general counsel of <laughs> fucking election integrity. <laughs> She's the stupid ass that fucking signed the documents down at Mar-a-Lago. Yeah, he gave all you all the documents, even though he was hiding them. He was playing fucking hide and seek not with the documents. Alina Habba Daba Ding Dong. No, 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 no. The, the different set of DSLs. This is a different set of DSLs. Uh. Um, speaking of DSLs, uh, I would be derelict in my duty if we didn't talk about how uh, Lauren Bobert here. I love this. Handball. This is a great, just a fantastic story. Too. Yes. Handball. Handball, uh, as we refer to her here on the Tony Michaels podcast, because she likes to give hand jobs in the um, in Beetlejuice. Um, and, and, Beetlejuice. And again, I will always defend her when you do this shit. Beetlejuice is an incredibly sexy show. And well, I, mean, I don't know how anybody is supposed to resist. Right. Okay. Giving someone a handy. Okay. Well, let's when see what else she loves. She loves, she loves hand jobs. Creature, you know, with, with come out of nowhere to a bunch of ghosts and be like, I think I'm going to give a hand job now. Right. Right. Well, that's how it works. I think. I think that's how hand jobs work. But she loves hand jobs, and I would. Uh, she loves HJs and she loves BJs. I'm well, sure. Cool after this, that's the only job she's going to have left. Well, that is <laughs> that might be the only job she's got. Um, but listen to what else she loves. This is fucking hilarious. I like to make a lot of noise. Uh, closed mouths don't get fed. So I put public pressure campaigns mm. on uh, people who are not serving uh, the Republican agenda, the America First agenda, correctly. And uh, and that's pretty effective. But she's also. So I love legislating. <laughs> I 
love legislating. Coming from a person who's a member of the 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 least legislating Congress in history. Right. And you know what's what the cool fuck are you is, talking is about? what I love about her. Yeah. Is as she's trying to speak words. Yep. Like other humans do. Uh-huh. You can actually see that she doesn't know mid sentence still what she's going to say. Right. Like you can see the hamster running around on the wheel. <laughs> the, like, what uh, word comes next? What word comes next? Like, Beetle juice. Beetle yeah. juice. Yeah, now here's no the thing. Idea. Here's the thing. Like she's she's like it, it, she totally is just fucking riffing because because right. she she doesn't she can't figure out what she actually wants to say because that would take intelligence. Well, you know, a lot can of people tell, are going to knock me for this. you people the story, though? Because they need to know how awesome the Ken Oh, Bucks we're, we're going to get to that. We got a f- five minutes, four minutes left, but I'm going to have my Heinrich Sturm room here. A lot of people are going to hate me for this. They hate me when I say this. But I would totally let her eat my liberal ass. I totally would let her do that. 100%. We eat that pizza the wrong way. Yeah, baby. Eat it the wrong way, motherfucker. Get it in there, Lauren. Get in there. I would hey, let, her, her, to, I would let her give me a hand job, BJ. I was say, I'd take her to Beetlejuice, and I'd say you got a 50-50 shot. I would let her do anything she wanted to do to my liberal ass. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> do it. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. All right. Go ahead with the story. Tell all the audience the story about Kim Buck and why it is so important that Kim Buck says, fuck you. I'm not going to wait till the end of my term. And why Lauren Boebert is totally fucked here, and she won't be a congressperson because so, of it. You may remember that uh, you may know. I'll say quickly. Ken Buck ran in 2010 as a as a Tea Party Republican. They were uh-huh. the vanguard of the far right. Adam Kinzinger was in right. that he's group. MAGA as but, MAGA could be, and they are now like the liberals. <laughs> they're like the the rest of the party's like, what's wrong with you, motherfuckers? So Buck actually just was getting more and more tired of the fact that he said the other day he's like, I'm tired of having to lie for my president and my party was the line. He just, you know, he he's a guy who we disagree with on everything. And I think his politics are fucking inane. Yeah, fucking so, buck. Yeah. Right. I mean, his politics are stupid, but he actually did believe that that when you win an election, you win an election, as he said, Biden won. And he believed in weird things like, you know, basic constitutional principles and stuff. And so I like to make a lot of noise. Uh, closed mouths don't get give- closed mouth. She likes her mouth open. Go ahead. Sorry. Well, if she's going to take care of your ass. She needs to need to open that mouth, but we'll get, <laughs> that's, that's, that's for another time. Um, so whole nother show. Okay. So, so uh, Buck just finally was like, I've had enough. And I don't know if he did this purposely, partially to screw Bobert, but apparently he told a number of other folks that he was absolutely miserable being around his Republican colleagues, was tired of the whole lot. Lo- I mean, that he felt it was dishonorable to be there. So out of nowhere, I would have loved with this. He did not even tell Mike Johnson. Didn't tell him. He made the announcement he was leaving at the end of this week without telling the speaker, without telling any of the people who are in power in his party that he was going to take a vote away from them. And now that they're going to have a two vote margin in the House. And the beauty is it fucks Mike Johnson because he's now got a two vote margin. <laughs> and it fucks Lauren Boebert because she moved out because she only won by 500 votes in Colorado with three. Because, she can't you know, win in plus, three. She can't win. It's only a plus seven Republican district and she loses enough votes because she's a moron to lose that. This is a much more Republican district, Colorado four, but there's like 10 or 11 of them running. And a lot of people- And they're are, all shit boxes, by the way. They're all idiots, of course. Right. A lot of people though can't stand her because she moved she, she, she parachuted into this district she has nothing to do with to try to, to run there. Well, the way it works is when somebody drops out and they like or, or quits and they have a special election, the party committee uh, there decides, picks one person to run. They don't have a primary. So she's now has to get them to pick her to run and everybody hates her. So chances <laughs> are they are not going to pick her. And I mean, the only to- people who don't hate her is sitting next to her. That's the only uh, right. the dudes, whoever the dude is directly next to her on either side loves her. Well, whoever's point. getting the handy. Yeah. Right. So well, I mean, you know, how couldn't you? So unless she could go take care of that entire committee and they're all dudes. <laughs> uh, That's she- all I'm saying, Lauren. Lauren, all I'm saying is, you know, maybe the HJs and the BJs isn't a bad strategy. Clip, we run out of time. I'd love to continue yep. the story, but tell the audience where they can find you and why it's so important that they find you. Tell them. It's important that you find me, damn it. Uh, it's important because we're all, uh, we need to save democracy this year. You kind of know that. We're all on the same side fighting these assholes, making fun of them, mocking them, and mocking them appropriately. So also pointing out when they lie and steal and cheat and everything else. So I am at C. Schechter, C as in Cliff, and Schechter is S-C-H-E-C-T-E-R, talking later tomorrow with the person who's rebranding my site. So we're going to have a new name as of maybe next week, Cliff's Edge, but it's Blimp channel right now. Uh, So just go to at C. Schechter, and you'll find it there. And I 
uh, we've had an amazing month. We've grown uh, the last month something like three or four thousand subscribers. So, so you know, had one video that that that's uh, three hundred seventy-five thousand views, and a few. We well, got a new video coming today sometime, don't you? Yeah. So you should all know that's right. We need to promote that today in about fifteen minutes. I'm gonna go live two fifteen. It's me and Tony talking last week about Mark Robinson. Uh, you're, you don't want to miss that. I'll be up at my channel. It's Tony totally not it. funny. We're totally not goofy. Yeah, we're not we're funny totally at all. Not, yeah, Tony will no, put no. it up on his wall, and uh, yep. you'll be able to see it. So, yeah. so make sure to go watch that video. Follow Cliff. You'll see the video when we post it on the community tab. Also, I got a birthday I want to point out. Uh, Deidre, she's always in the producer's corner on Patreon every Monday and Friday. Uh, Deidre, we, we refer to her as uh, Grand Tifa. Uh, um and uh, she's uh, she's great. Uh, we love Deidre and having Deidre in producer's corner and having Deidre wherever she is in the fucking fam. Uh, we most appreciate. So I want to say happy birthday to Deidre. Happy, awesome. happy birthday to you. Uh, so there you go, Deidre. And anyone else who has a birthday out there, happy birthday to you. Cliff, is it your birthday? Or does it just feel like your birthday when you come on the it, Tony? It feels like it every day. Now I'm in December, dude. You got a while before you have to. Like, we'll like, know. We'll know whether we're a democracy or an autocracy right, by the time right. my birthday comes around. Every week, every week you're on on Thursdays. We serve birthday cake and liberal assholes. Cliff Schechter, <laughs> everyone. Tomorrow, same time, same place. YouTube, you know, two hours a day. We do it every fucking day. YouTube, Twitch, Facebook, X Chan, in Instagrammies, all MySpace, the, all the stuff. Yeah, yep, yeah, all those things, all those things. Same time, same place. Tomorrow, surfs up, motherfuckers. You've been listening to the Tony Michaels podcast. podcast. In your face commentary of current events and political news. No rules, no boundaries. I think we've made that perfectly clear. We hope you enjoyed the show and we'll be back soon. In the meantime, follow Tony on social media at the Tony Michaels. And until next time, raise a fist and repeat after me. Fuck them. Murphy's Meal Barn, head ass speaking. Are you ever lonely? So I was, over the years, I love history, I study history. And I was always told that Andrew Jackson, as a president, was treated the absolute worst. He was just really lambasted. And I heard Abraham Lincoln was second, but he was in a thing called the Civil War, so you can understand that. But Andrew Jackson was really, really treated badly. In fact, his wife died during the process. I mean, a lot of people say she died because of the way they were treated. I mean, she was heartbroken and, and broken in so many other ways. And I heard that for years. And I look now, even last night I was saying it, I said, there's no, I don't care, Andrew Jackson or anybody else, nobody has, when you think of the, the fake things, nobody's been treated like Trump in terms of badly. Russia, 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 Ukraine, 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 everything was a scam. And it literally starts the new one. As you win one, you start the other. Impeachment hoax number one, impeachment hoax number two, all hoaxes and scams.